Hello, the internet. Welcome to a special holiday bingo themed with Worlds Collide Thursday Weekly. I am Mr. Entity, joined here in the booth uh, by Jack and Miss Wedge. How is it going, sir? It's going pretty good tonight. How's about you? I'm doing all right. Always happy to see Bingo come up again. They're a bit of a hassle to put together, but they're a lot of fun to watch and or play. So for those of us who are not familiar with the Bingo format, would you like to walk people through it? Well, on top of your usual race, where in this case, uh, six, eight to get into the tower, eight, nine to skip to the statues. Uh, you also have to complete a line of bingo. You can see the bingo card on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Got three different colors there, one for each of our featured racers. We can see that a couple of those, uh, those squares are checked off already. And that's because we had a fun little thing where the center square was free as long as you gifted a square to someone else. Very much so. And, uh, just while I get our races underway, why not walk through what some of these squares are? I probably know them better than you, but I'm also the one controlling things. Well, uh, first off, trees are important. Uh, you can celebrate that aspect of the holidays by exploring three of the Chocobo forests. Uh, you can see right below that, that is highlighted. Let's build a snowman. Keep a Maru in your party for the entire game. Yay! And then you have some other more just random, hey, do that thing. Break an ice shield. It's freezing. Or use the ice dance. Or buy a whole lot of dried meat and tonics. Just tiny little added goals on top of the usual amount of characters and espers required to finish up. And the neat thing with the bingo card is that since you can make a line in any way, you get to see a lot of very different paths and routing. Very much so, yes. So, as you can see, they're all holiday-themed. I tried to include a whole bunch of different holidays. If you could spot them all, 100 internet points and, like, culture points. And I will now give our racers a one-minute warning and uh, walk you through the flags of what's happening tonight. Well, you can already see from the display that uh, we've got a pretty Christmas-themed lineup to start here. We've got uh, Strago Claus and his faithful uh, snowman, the Yeti. Yep. There is also going to be a third random character. Uh, we will be sort of iterating on the current uh, standard race preset in progress changes. So we have uh, six and eight required for KT, eight and nine uh, characters and aspers required for the skip. Uh, we have otherwise fairly standard things. Uh, dances are better, rages are better, uh, lores are better in as much as there are more of each of those uh, to start with. Uh, the There's 30% random stuff in the shops, and because it's Christmas, 50% extra stuff in boxes. Woo! But everybody's naked. And also... You're not allowed to sell things on Christmas. You just have to give them away as gifts. So you can't get any money from selling things to shopkeepers. But since they're also celebrating the holidays, they got half off everything. It's like Black Friday up in no. Yep. And uh, one of the squares even involves giving gifts to all these different shopkeepers. Indeed. And speaking of giving gifts, you will note... The middle square there, which some people have checked off, everybody in the restream actually has checked that off. Uh, how that works, since it's not described on there, was basically... I explained it already. Did you? They I gave, wasn't paying attention to you. They gave a gift of another square to someone else. That's nice. Yep. Well, we're off. There's Santa Snowman, and they're tagged along with Sabin. Looks like Sabin's got control, and that magic and runic on Strago, and the Yeti to power through the at least the early portions of the game there. Yep. Uh, naked Yeti, not as good of a Yeti, obviously, since one of the main benefits of the Yeti is that he starts with a snow muffler, uh, one of the absolute top tier body items in the game. Uh, but everybody naked. 
so you don't get that benefit. We have uh, Green Monkey going for the beginner's house here. And Jones just sitting on his screen, unless I accidentally did a thing. Uh, I don't know which is which. There you go. You fixed it. I fixed it. So, we got some peoples talking to the beginner's house, guys, which is one of the squares. Sol Invictus, which is uh, both an ancient Roman holiday and... Uh, I believe it's recently been co-opted by the uh, one of one of the American churches of Satan. I don't remember which one. Uh, they're basically the same. All of them. Sure. Yeah, that's just complete and total corruption. Oh, we've got a flame shield just sitting in the Narsh treasury. That's pretty nice. Gauntlet there. If you find a nice big sword to swing around later. Aegis shield and a clock. Always nice to have them clocks. Yep, some good stuff. We've got a few squares clicked off already. Uh, we uh, we saw Jones talking to the teachers in the beginner's house, so that was this, one of the squares in the corner. Yeah. And looks like both Jones and Green Monkey are electing to never ever wear anything on the head slot for their characters. It's not a smart idea. It's winter. It's cold out there. I believe someone wrote a song about that once. Uh, and it was probably called, like, Summer Lovin'. Probably. It also appears that uh, Jones is going to be Opting to keep the Yeti forever. 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 Yeah, whereas uh, Green Monkey had that square gifted. So Green Monkey can claim that square without having to use him forever. If it should come to that. Which is probably the better option most of the time. You know, it depends on the person. Some people like to go for stuff like that. Uh, some people have quite a passion for the Yeti. But, you know, it's, uh, it's up to you what you want to do in these cases. And, uh, eh. you know, it's not a terrible decision. The Yeti does have his uses. They're just not particularly great ones. Yep. Well, uh, Green Monkey out of money, bought a bunch of consumables. We saw that very early on at the Ooh, shop on the air. Rihanna has chosen the worst person in the entire beginner's house to talk to. You get to see a lot of nice flashy colors, though. Ooh, fancy. And we've got uh, some in-sync looting inside the returner's hideout. Crystal orb, that's at least worth some money. No, it's not. Valid point. Yeah, all those relics he just picked up, where you'd be like, oh, cool, I could sell these for about 40k. No. No. Tis the season of giving. So give them. Exactly. No many sales. Yeah, no especially, many sales. especially when you find two ribbons. Like, you're usually thinking, hey, that's a ribbon, that's 15k. That is usually what I'm thinking, yes. Uh, many of the relics are basically not worth keeping, although today... If you find lots of the ring relics, then that is a box for the five golden rings at the top column, top row of the bingo square to complete a check whilst wearing five different ring relics. Got Brianna fishing monster in a box already. It's a giganto. That's a ton of experience if you can defeat it. Yep, it does have the highest experience per level of any enemy in the game. So if you can find one, you're usually worth getting. Well... Control and a couple of broken shields will do it. Uh, control doesn't sync very well with Umaro, so that's going to be a... It reset. sure doesn't. <laughs> it also doesn't sync great with, uh, you know, not really having much beyond physical attacks. Got some more looting going on, this time in South Figaro for both Jones and Monkey. Yeah. I'm surprised no one goes right to the collapsing house when you start the sap. Like, there's treasure in there. It is an option, and uh, certainly if I start with Seven, sometimes I will uh, loot World of Ruin Albrook on my way to Tizen. Uh, and I almost never otherwise go to Albrook, but it is on the way. And there's some chests, and it's a town. And in this case, it has a pube, and you're supposed to visit five of the pubes in the game. Yeah. Four of the pubes in the game. Four of the pubes? Four of the that pubes. That was just settled on four of the pubes? Four of the pubes. Four pubes, gotcha. 
Well, Bree is going to pick up the disappointing ribbons inside of the Returner's hideout. A little bit behind on looting compared to the other two because of the check against the yes, Western box. Yes, it really also depends what people in the beginner's heads you would like to talk to, because some of them just say one sentence, and some of them are like a full 30 seconds. Yep. There is that as well. Uh, the guys in the hallway would have been the ones I started with, since they're mostly just one to two sentences. And then, like, the monster in the box guy just says, Ha! There's a monster in the box! You idiot! Pretty much, yep. Well, get out, get out of here. Well, got a few more nice shields in the basement there, forcing a fire shield. Yep, uh, always nice. And Minerva! That is uh, always that is excellent. Delicious if you can equip it. Uh... Pretty much inarguably the best body armor in the game. I think the only real argument you can make for anything else would be the snow muffler. Uh, I suppose there's a reasonable amount of room for debate there, but let's be honest, it's the Minerva. It is the Minerva. Unless you really want perfect physical defense. Which doesn't matter as much because there's ways to just outright ignore physicals anyway. Yep. And the magic is usually going to be doing more damage to you. Looks like Green Monkey is in an all brook. And uh, Brianna taking the path we rarely see. Yeah. Jones reassigning some gear here. And yeah, there he goes, taking off those hats. Almost broke No his hats own allowed. No hats. Silly hats only. And there's no silly hats in this game. Got the gauntlet. Oh, no, he's switching it up. Sneak ring. Interesting thing for people to put on. Uh, I, think, I, I, think, I think it's just a filler relic. Just like, oh, maybe those five speed points will do something. I mean, if it was level plus five, I would wear that relic, but it's not. I mean, I would have put a ribbon on in this case. Free ribbons. It's a, it's a nice, perfectly Ooh, acceptable filler relic. Yeah, Dragonhorn for 10k, that's pretty nice. And there were some barrier rings in there for like 100 bucks or something. There's a pube. Is he going to talk to the bartender? Firebender. He did not talk to the bartender. Ooh. Well, Jones is going to do our first official check here, heading into the Imperial base. Usually you can just escape from everything in there as well, so it's a kind of free check. Yep, uh, unless stuff gets quite dangerous, which is rare, but there is a 1% inescapable option. Just to make things interesting. Well, uh, well terrible fight, run terrible away. Terrible fight. And it looks like Green Monkey is given gifts, selling a tiger mask for zero money. And looting to Massa. Maybe going for that burning house? We'll see. Uh -huh. It's it's a risky play to do early, but there's, there's a lot of fights nice in there. Ice shield is a square. I mean... But that's another potentially very dangerous monster pack. It doesn't look like it, but that little scorpion loves to use earth elemental magic whenever you kill it. Hmm. Uh, one, one benefit of going to Tomasa and maybe doing the Burning House is uh, you can't get any money from selling things today, so if you don't want to be poor, you're going to have to take some fights at some point. You absolutely are, yes. And, like, while you can loot stuff and you might get what you need, at some point in most seeds you need to buy things. Yeah, same enemy formation again for Jones here inside the camp. And a couple of those enemies are easy meat for the revivifies that he's packing. Yeah, and a uh, nice side attack means less danger. Yeah, always still that chance of a counterattack from the scorpion, but again, Jones not getting quaked into oblivion. So that's always very nice. Yep, and uh, because winter is coming, Jones is having to kill some undead, so these are actually somewhat beneficial things for him to find if he wants to go for that square. Yeah. Gotta kill all the snow zombies. Yeah, very very easy fight there for Jones, so that'll be check complete. And looks like Monkey did remember to keep his hats off as per the square. Ifrit is the reward for Jones. 
Right, so we've got an Esper pickup already. Bree picking up and her Minerva in the basement. Looks like we room. are going to see the burning house. Yeah, here we go. Monkey just going to dive right into that. Luckily, he still has one GP remaining. I have definitely accidentally not had one GP there before. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. I mean... Oh, well, that's uh, not a particularly generous encounter. Shouldn't be an issue for a green monkey, but uh, not really going to be a big payoff. It's not an encounter I see very often, so I don't super remember it. I know you fight it in Owser's Mansion. Yeah, there's Ice Shield for Jones, also inside of the Mesa. Breeze off to World of Ruin, going to the going to Tizen. Go to Tizen, Bree. Yeah. There's the Tizen. One reason I do know that some runners put off going to Tizen is, uh, you know, there's monster boxes there that you can't get back to, and if you can't kill them, when you find the Katana Soul, if you want that offering. Ooh, there's there's reasons not to go fishing for monster in a boxes. Offering. On paper is a really, really nice relic, but in practice it really only works with four weapons. Yep, which is why I usually don't bother fighting Monster in a Boxes until I find one of those weapons. Honestly, if I'm searching Monster in a Boxes, I'm hoping for Gigantos for all the experience. Gigantos is, is good, but they don't have any offerings. Yeah, Mary Shields miscontinues. There's another Aegis Shield inside the Collapsing House for Bree. Yeah, Sky Render is a thing I would normally say there's a solid 20k. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a, it's a solid throwable if you find a thrower. It also has uh, like 20% evade on it or something, so it, it has a, a use as a stat stick. Yeah, well, there's an endgame weapon for Bree picking Batma. Yeah, and there's a reason to start looking for an offering. And it's an aloe vare. All over, free tiger fangs. One undead for Bree. Green Monkey going to take some longer battles here inside this burning house. Using f Now, what's interesting here is that Green Monkey has all of his characters on the back row. Yeah, that's not the uh, not, smartest not, I division. would be fearing physicals at the very start of a seed, because as you can see, they're quite pathetic on low-level enemies. Other monster in a box looks like a specter, so that's uh, an easy hyper risk. Breed looking to punch it out, maybe not aware that it's uh, considered an undead monster. Vivify will kill that just as easily. Yeah, I'm not sure how many she had, but she did uh, just use one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Jones Ooh. also in the burning house. Like, you can... Well, level plays a factor as well, but you can see that Jones's characters are on the front row, so their physicals are hitting considerably harder than monkeys are right now. Yeah, uh, I would normally say, even when you're going to do the Burning House, probably take a fight or two before going in there. Uh, yeah, you're going to get some fights in there, but A, they might not be good, and B, you're not going to have a chance to save at the end. So you want... There is that serious risk of time just completely lost grinding in the Burning House if you can't defeat the boss. Yeah, so if, uh, if you're going in there, much like I would say for basically every other... Thing. Take a fight or two. You're gonna get, you know, with a, with a decent fine. Cure in there for Brianna. With a decent pack of monsters, you're gonna get, you know, some levels. Uh, you know, and three to six levels or whatever is gonna make a, a pretty solid difference. At the, more than really you can do with gear. Uh, gear is nice, but. Levels matter so much in this game that it's ridiculous. And, uh, just looked up in time to not see what was on here in there. Because uh, I'm very observant. So we do have, it looks like probably we're going to see three simultaneous houses on fire. Someone's really got to stop, you know, Jack from just burning everything to the ground. What? What do I have to do with this? I think we've got a few overcooked turkeys in the oven. That's what's going on here. How are you fitting more than one turkey in your oven? 
It's a very big oven. Big enough to set three entire villages on fire? I thought these were houses, not whole villages, but yeah, it could totally do that. In fact, it could set four entire villages on fire. I mean, to be fair, this house is the size of the rest of the village once you get in there. Like a TARDIS. I think it's bigger than the rest of the village. Probably. Yeah. Well, everyone fighting those annoyingly slow still life encounters. I mean, there is some experience and money to be won there, but it doesn't feel worth it for the amount of effort you have to put into each battle. Yeah, I they're think... going. They're going to go by pretty quick for Jones now. He's packing fire too on uh, old man Santa Claus there. Yep, uh, definitely going to be helpful. Uh, I'm fairly certain the monster is weak to fire, and it's just a spell. Well, it's, it's just a sheet of paper with a face. Of course it's weak to fire. Don't all sheets of paper have faces? Well, the one where you draw it on them. I guess I've just spent way too much time drawing faces on paper. Exactly. Here we go. We've got Monkey and Jones inside the same room now. Oh, Monkey pulling ahead by avoiding a battle. Jones going for one of the treasure boxes and get tagged by another flaming still life. Free also with some Nanumaros on the back row there. That's just going to slow these early battles down. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen control work with enough time to read what was like i think it has been controlled but i don't think that the actual screens ever come up because the other two are just fighting yeah, well umaro can do nothing but fight so uh, yeah, controls a bad command especially for this party layout yeah jones at least finds a different encounter uh, obviously with his fire two no more dangerous than the still life uh, no more dangerous but uh, faster fight less experience i think due to being an enemy from considerably earlier on in the game. Yes. Jones also has the delicious red on green text, which is not the easiest to read. I have to say I'm more of a fan of the green on red. That's far more legible. Actually, I think green probably has the best compromise with just the green and red background. That is the easiest text to read tonight. Yeah, that is straight up just... Well, in a we know why the house is on fire now, don't we, Mr. Entity? Yeah, you left the turkey in too long, and it's so big! Yeah, we got a pretty spicy turkey here. Uh, well, I think the good news is that everyone's got a Minerva on their Yeti, so the elemental attacks aren't going to kill them. There's a broken ice shield for Jones. Crack. Yep, yeah, that'll click off the square, assuming he can survive the fight. Yep. Uh, it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow it. going Ooh. from here, though. Reset for monkey, which is this is why you don't really want to do the burning house early if you're not sure of your ability to get through it. Uh, if there was a hint somewhere as to what the boss is, you might consider it more. But you're really going in blind. So now Jones is going to have to finish the battle with Spicy Chicken with uh, those really weak level 1 ice spells on Old Man Strago. Not much else there for offense unless you get a lucky tackle or two from the Yeti. Yeah, luckily that uh, that Ice Shield did do a solid, you know, 3.5k or something, so... That, that'll that probably be most of its life pool this early on in the seed. Exactly, but uh, it's not that I don't think anyone really has anything to use against Poultrygeist, even in the other parties. Well, everyone's got that ice shield, it's just a matter of are you willing to use it early on, and in the case of I'd lose five minutes of progress battling enemies in the Burning House, the answer is yes. Snap that thing. Gotta try to win it out. If you can win it out, it puts you at a huge advantage over the other racers who maybe like in Green Monkey's case would see the boss and just instantly reset. Yeah, it's not a nice boss to find, and now it's just the snowman. It's just the snowman. Good news is snowman is wearing a Minerva. It's going to take a pretty nasty combination of moves to take the Yeti out. You need to be hit by something like a missile into a shrapnel be about the only thing that can do it. So it's just going to be into blaster. just going to be a lot of waiting. Stopping the blaster, yeah, that would do it too. 
Green Monkey going to collect more shields. Yeah, more shields and that Atma weapon. Yeah, uh, and that Atma weapon. Stick that on Umaro. Give him an offering later and, you know, just leave him. Uh, I don't like giving offering to Umaro because it lowers the damage on his tackle. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd give him the Atma weapon without the offering. He'd be just, he'd be just as fine. Basically doing max damage every other turn with that set up. Yep. Jones clicking off the ice shield. I think he's he's sunk his cost and he's gonna see it through. It should be dead. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Jones pulls off the upset. Solo snowman takes out the spicy chicken. Looks looks like I've had about seven, eight thousand ish max HP. So that ice shield definitely helping speed yeah. that battle along. Dragonhorn dead check. Not ideal. No. Especially when we've seen Dragonhorn straight up for sale. Yeah, and for only 10 grand as well. That's that's peanuts. That's three battles. We've seen how uh, generous the money multiplier is in this seed. It's so not progress. It's a dead check, so that's unfortunate. So, you know, maybe Green Monkey, assuming they don't mistakenly decide to go back there later just save themselves a lot of hassle yeah it does look like he's coming up on spicy chicken be interesting to see how she decides to handle things here i think her yeti is also wearing a minerva though jones has also clicked off the five golden rings thing so he's got a, a pretty solid middle column going he's almost got the bottom one and uh aside from the krampus one where he has to beat a boss with birch rods <laughs> uh, for being naughty. Oh, Bree's got stuff. She's laughing. She's got this. This will be easy, easy pickings for Bree. Won't be a fast fight, but she basically can't lose. Yeah. So, based on what people are doing right now, Joan's probably gonna see that middle column get finished. I'll have to find some rods, but uh, probably shouldn't have too much issue there. And it uh, looks like Green Monkey has gone to the World of Ruin, says Figaro, to collect the extra changed... Ooh, and that is quite the Chancellor-ing from that man. Yeah, uh, not a very generous holiday spirit on that old man Chancellor. Nope. Got an Ifrit and Shiva battle here Offerings on the waterfall. for sale in that relic shop. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, we know Atma weapons in play. Yep. Now, there was also a man eater in one of the barrels there. I mean, that's potent. That's a very powerful weapon in the right circumstances. But most of the quote unquote man's enemies will be into the random boss pool or just a couple targets in the very last battle. Yep, Jones onto the Shiva portion of this fight, which will be much easier to do quickly than uh, the Ifrit part. Well, 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 Jones had played that pretty smart. Jones just got off some quick, cheap attacks. Like, yep. they, they switch every four or five attacks. It's five regular attacks, and they switch it. Yeah, so get five of those cheapies Ooh. off, and then Santa can uh, just melt the Ice Queen. Terrible grind here for Green Monkey with some level X magics. Yeah. That, uh, there's no point fighting those, that's for sure. Not unless you really need magical points. Yeah. Bree's still pounding away with stop and poison, which is Spicy Chicken's weakness. Skeen! It's a counterattack, but that's not going to do anything to the snowman. And Jones gets a Bahamut Esther. And Brianna gets a bunch of missiles right in the face. And I was about to say things aren't looking good for Green Monkey, but uh, I'm also not entirely sure why he used Warp Stone there, because you can just straight up run away when you get a pincer attack. Yeah, you can, but uh, you have to eliminate all the enemies on one side. Sorry, I meant a side attack. Uh, when you pincer the enemy. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, you can just you can just turn around and run away. And there's like, a kind like your, your, your gauges even start at full, so yep. there's no delay on the escape. It's instant. Chimera, Chimera should be a decent little fight to power up the green monkey a bit there. Depends how much it wants to pull out the aqua rake, because I'm not sure what the elemental scale version of that would be. There aren't that many water attacks. Yeah. yeah Bree's not even uh, pulling out the uh, stop spell. I think she's realized that. Uh, 
with all her elemental resistances, uh, take a pretty unlucky combination and moves to actually lose to the spicy chicken here. It's just a matter of the fight taking a little bit longer. I saw her looking at her shields. I think the ice shield she picked up is on Umaro, so she can't bring that. Unfortunate, because that would speed things up. That cut the length of the battle in half right there. Green Monkey gets through his Chimera fight with two people to gain levels. And he is in one of the optimal spots to grind, if you can find decent grind enemy. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh Brianna yeah. down to the snowman. Yeah, I got hit with a nasty air move there. Didn't even realize Spicy Chicken had air moves cycled in. I guess it's because Merton's considered a fire and wind attack. Doesn't he normally have arrow on a very rare basis? Maybe, maybe that's it. Still, it's still a winnable fight for Bree here. As long as it doesn't get winded again. Yeah. Oh, also the poison. So he's gonna have to hope for consistent heals. I'm not even sure what no. would heal what would heal Bree with Minerva on here. There, there's a time limit of about four attacks for this fight to be over. Yeah, this is, and it's in fact one attack. Yeah. Oh. That's brutal. Maybe Bree shouldn't have given up on the stop spam. Uh, stop has a fairly significant cost when you are at a very low level. Yeah, I guess there is that. Yeah, being if, if she was able to break that ice shield, she definitely had that in the bank because she did at least 4,000 damage before things went sour. We've got Jones up a mount, Colts fighting a Funbaba. Rihanna is also going to have to unclick that uh, candles thing. Jones going with an interesting runic strategy here. I'm I'm not sure if I'd make that play with all the elemental resistances you have available there. Uh, yeah, Finbaba can be quite irritating at the start of the game. Looks like Green Monkey found just a pug hanging out. Yeah, those aren't worth fighting. <laughs> I mean, if you find pugs, they're worth fighting. Well... Slurm! It's highly addictive! There you go. That's a good fight right there. That'll load you up on XP's. No fire spell to wipe the pack, though, fortunately. Those mantises are a great, great experience as well. Yep, so two people going for a grind here. I'm not 100% sure why, because there are just quick seven checks you could go try. Uh, there's also Ebbets Rock, which is fairly quick. Uh, Umaro's check is just up at the top here. But yeah. I, do, I, I did say earlier, go take a fight or two at the start of basically every seed, so... Yeah, what are you going to do? Bree's got a Yeti that's going to run away from the Mantises. They are one of the few enemies that can actually hit pretty dang hard with a physical Such rally. Such as! Yeah. And that's on Umaro, who's probably packing at least 220 defense with a shield and Minerva on. And Jones finds our first character of the day. It's a red-clad Edgar. Yeah, getting into the Christmas spirit, wearing a Santa costume. That's what it kind of looks like. And that screen came up so fast, there was absolutely no way I was going to read it. <laughs> I'm not even sure if Jones read what his ability was. <laughs> Take the helmet off, Jones. You're breaking the rules. There you, there go. you go. Lots of relics kicking around today. Uh, not so much everything else. Yeah. Well, he's just straight up putting earrings on Edgar, so it'd be some sort of magic heavy command. It shock, would appear maybe. shock is in play, uh, which is going to be a fairly significant advantage for Jones if nobody else goes and does Mount Colt in the near future. Mount Colt tends to be a uh, not particularly popular check with a lot of runners for some reason. No, it's often overlooked. I am... Tending now to route it in between South Figaro and whatever Sabin or Cyan checks or like Gao Manor. Yeah. Because it's basically on the way. It's always nice to start with Sabin. Sabin's got one of the best set of checks in the whole brand of Monster. Without question. It's either him or Terra. Um. 
I you could make an argument for Sellies and Locke as well, just because they yeah. had had to have a lot of treasure as well, but yeah. in terms of in terms of just straight up, this is a fast check. It's got a bit of loot and stuff. It's definitely between Terra and Sappin. Yeah. Or if you start with someone with sword tech and you have cyan, then Immediately, he has the best set of checks in the game. Um, true, but like Burning House, there is some risk into going into the dream. You've got two bosses that you might not necessarily be ready for. Yes, it's, but it does also, if you go there immediately, have a very good place to grind when you get in the magical tech's armor. There is that, yeah. You can definitely abuse the high-level magic it's tech. As long, as, long as, the, as long as the encounter pool is yes. good, yeah. I mean, you don't want to be running into a million Tyrannosaurs all stacked on top of each other. Uh, actually, I think Tyrannosaurs would be an enemy that would fare very poorly against the magic tech armor. Just keep using ice beams, they'd go down pretty quick. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're like a million of them on top of each other, all wearing a big trench coat so they can get into super, super dinosaur movies. You know, the, the rated, the rated 100 million years ones. You can't get in there if you're, if you're just a young Tyrannosaur. You know, all right, Jones just bought some smoke bombs. Let's get back to things that make some amount of sense. Well, then why am I here? I don't know. It's 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 usually you're the one that has to, you know, rein me in. Santa has reins for his sleigh. He sure does. Edgar reigns as a king. Oh, it's that's very it, clever. It, it reigns in Zozo. It... It does, it definitely does. I know things about Final Fantasy and Christmas. Yep. Well, it looks like there's going to be an imp if you head to Figaro Castle, as Jones is doing. Monkeys climbing the mountain inside of World of Ruin Narsh to tackle a couple bosses, uh, one of which is Umaro's eventual area. And Jones is about to learn the main thing this game teaches you about real life. If you see a turtle, jump on it. It will only lead to good things. Turtles. Hey, I mean, even the Mario games know that. Yeah. Even Final Fantasy V teaches you to follow turtles. Yeah, and uh, then the turtle gets really, really, really angry at you whenever you keep poking it. Well, it's because you're not jumping on it. You're poking, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. This dragon is in a really obnoxious spot. Uh -oh. Green Monkey gets tagged. White Durgan. White Durgan. And presumably some kind of reset. Yeah, I instant reset. <laughs> White Durgan is going to throw out one to three pearls immediately, which would b wipe the party. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm assuming dragons are uh, not scaled. They are indeed unscaled. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's not something you can really keep up with with just three characters. Yeah, he did try to avoid it for quite a while, but, uh, yeah. Green Monkey not having the best of luck tonight. Nope. Just kind of standing outside Narsh for a moment here, looks like. Yeah, didn't even make it to the save point there, so the... Well, the dragon was sitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of cruel. We've got an Air Force here for Jones. Uh, really, that's not going to be too much of an issue with all that elemental protection at work. Yeah, Monkey soon to just be having a bit of a think here as Brianna runs into the Imperial camp, the least Christmassy of all the checks. At least Christmassy, <laughs> but uh, it was pretty darn easy for Jones to get through there. That is pretty Esper. And Bahamut! Not often you see attack summons used in this randomizer, but Bahamut's, Bahamut's a good one. Yeah, it's basically a slightly weaker Ultima spell and. If you're low on offense, like uh, most of our racers are at this moment, uh, you gotta take advantage of what you can get. Bree finds Katana Soul. Bree will be interested in defeating this Katana Soul because she's got an Atma weapon and hasn't seen the uh, offering up for sale yet. I'm just double checking. Uh, it is not an issue on our end. That green monkey is just sitting there. That is just uh, 
I don't know what he's doing, but probably taking a moment to cool the head, perhaps, after that uh, extremely nasty movement from the dragon. That is a possibility, Katana Soul. Uh, not the most fun fight you could have when you, uh... There's some more rains. The acid variety. Yeah. That's bad. Well, unless it's a song by Liquid Tension Experiment, in which case it's good. I don't. Oh, I don't. Bree, I don't think Bree should try to run here. She's got Katana Soul poison. That 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 guy's on a death clock. Should have just tried to tough it out. I think. Yeah, but she doesn't have Squisker Swig Elf to be taller than a tree. Or Toki Wartooth, who's uh, not a bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Phoenix Magicite for Jones from defeating the Air Force. Raheem! So, a rather nastier fight than Jones found here. Uh, actually, that fight looks like a lot of delicious experience. Chuck a couple revivifies and go to town on the Behemoth. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Monkey is following Bree in there. And Jones is going for the standard pairing of Figaro with Ancient Castle. Do all the Edgar things at once. They're all right there. Pretty sure Jones will be checking the throne on the way out here. Yeah, and he is uh, in, in a reasonable place to try and find out what this dragon is, at least. Maybe he wants that Ice Dragon Square. I... Probably not, mm. given his other things the, uh, there's there's no offense that's the problem there's plenty of elemental defense which is good but if you commit to fighting a dragon here you'll be slugging away upwards of 40,000 hit points like a th at a thousand a shot wouldn't be great no but uh you know if you want that square you would probably want to at least check if it was the ice dragon because you can't come back here what, wait can you yeah you can. You can. Just, I was thinking, just incredibly out of the way. I was thinking of the Y remove scenario where you can get in, but you can never come. Yeah. So, Behemoth taking some Mumaro down and failing. Uh, there's another there's Minerva another for Minerva. Jones. Elemental protection everywhere in this seed. Yeah, unfortunately, not a lot of non-protection for enemies yeah <laughs> and it's a moogle face yeah character number five for jones let's hope he's actually useful didn't even look at him <laughs> kind of odd whenever one of your characters is sitting with a control command yeah uh sabin's got nothing going on yeah so not not the greatest starting party, obviously, especially when they all started naked. Uh, and there's not a lot of money kicking around to go, you know, shopping for what homes. Jones skipping a chest. Yeah, winter's coming for Bree after those misfit kills. And a red cap in a box for Jones. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, he's going for the best hat. Elected never to use hats. So that red cap, that's that's a gift. Brianna has uh, a Brianna is in trouble here. Use the smoke bomb, Bree. Well Green Monkey getting all the uh, easier battles inside the Imperial camp. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of leafers there. Jones is so far the only one with a uh, solid line in play. Uh, I can easily see what he could do to finish this out. He's going to get Phantom from that uh, uh, Figaro check. I almost said Jones check, but I mean, while well, correct, that's not what I meant. <laughs> But he's going to have to, you know, get his inner Krampus out if he wants that middle line. Got to find some rods. Got to find some rods. Yeah, but, I mean, Krampus, I guess that's why you pick up a couple other squares on the way, because you never know what you're going to run into. Yeah. Krampus would have been an easier square to make and 
prepare in Final Fantasy V where things like chains and whips exist. But, uh... Rods! We got rods! Yup. Oh! Bah! Ren! Baron. Baron. I mean, he's a king, not a baron. You can't rename the snowman. You can't rename the snowman. Baron stole Sabbath. Santa. Baron stole Sabbath, Santa. Bear and stall. Tuh. Bear and stall the Santa. This is some good commentary. Yup. Bear and stall the gifts. It's true. That is true. It's true. The Red Baron it was the Grinch of tonight's race. Indeed. He was gifted two things and quit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so those presents no longer exist. Nope. He just took them and smashed them to pieces. Like yeah. Jack usually does right in front of his kid. Then also everyone else's kids. Dude. Okay, everyone else's kids, sure, but not mine. Christ, come on. Free off to Phantom Forest slash Phantom Terrain. Yeah, interesting plays here. I mean, wouldn't be my go-to, but uh, can get some extra levels here. It would be collapsing house of clock for Jodes. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's really gone for Tritok, aside from Green Monkey, who got killed by the dragon on the way. By the dragon on the way. Well, reset before the dragon could kill, but... Same outcome. Yeah, effectively. Yeah, Green Monkey uh, still taking a couple of grind fights here, looks like. Fairly problematic <laughs> monster pack here, but uh, the payoff should be well worth it. We will see. We will see. And the Phantom Train is going to give us... A Balls go. crushed by a train cinder block blues. Maduin. That's what I said. Though I suppose it is technically progress, so you might as well finish it. Brianna has spoken to the wrong ghost. It is always the second ghost. Second ghost is the shopkeeper. But they move around. Maybe you don't know which one's the second ghost by the time you get there. I mean, you do. No, you don't. No, no, you do. No, I don't. But maybe you don't. Or two. No, I do. Oh, I see. That's what... Please bust new doom spells to kill some bad guys. Oh, you interrupted me just before I had the chance to make a terrible joke. I'm good at that. Green monkey fighting an Ifrit uh, in a shield. Thinking about an ice shield. Do it. Not doing it. Do oh, it. Wait, there it goes. Do it. Krakow. It's the it's the ice shield square for monkey. Yep. And a very dead Ifrit. Yep. Uh, not the most dangerous fight in the world most of the time, but you know, it, monkey it probably. Can, it can surprise you if you don't have access to elemental damage. You can get in trouble against those two. Yes, it can take quite a while. And also, Monkey is probably thinking, oh, I lost all that time with the deaths. Yeah, uh. I don't know what Jones is doing walking around with Sabin still. I would have kicked him to the airship curb. Yeah, I think I have to agree there. But then again, I don't think Jones even looked at what Mog had. Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't even consider. Him. Yeah, that's that strikes me as extremely weird. Well, there goes the offering for Jones. We knew that that was going to happen eventually with uh, the weapon in play. And if Brianna runs into an undead enemy with Doom. Uh, that. Weird uh, seahorse-looking thing. Apparently undead, because it just regenerated itself. Fun times! Well, here comes the Revivify. That'll put it away. Jones now probably going for Tritic. That uh, uh, would seem to be the case, yeah. Uh-huh. He is in the world of ruins. 
interestingly, not a lot of ruins in the world of ruin. Basically, everything is fine, except for Moblix. Uh, I mean, there's some buildings that are all like beat up and crap, but all the all the towns, I mean, they're they're mostly fine. I mean, there would be places to shop and stuff if there weren't, I suppose. So, from a gameplay perspective, it makes sense. Bree's gonna eat. Oh, Jones just <laughs> barely sneaks by that Durgan. Yeah. Durgan almost got a snack and snack and meal. Uh, snack. Jones is gonna go challenge it. I mean, levels in the mid twenty fives. You can put out a bit of damage there. Uh, White Durgan. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Jones just like turn around and reset out of this. Well, he's got Runic, which will be of some help. And uh, but he a character that relies exclusively on the magic command to deal damage, which won't. Yeah. He also put Runic in right away and already has two dead guys. Yep. Uh, I don't know about you, but that would probably be a reset for me. I can't see this ending well for Jones. Brianna getting the secret chest and finds a robe. Uh, Baron stole the gifts. And uh, the white dragon might uh, be stealing some lives. And if it you... is vulnerable to the mute spell, and then it's a free fight. If you have the mute spell. Yeah. So uh, there is a solstice, uh, Wicca style druidic gather some robes thing at four one square. So Brianna has found part one of that. If anybody finds a shop where they can just buy, you know cotton robes for 150 bucks a piece that's a really easy one to get yeah baron i mean monkey is in a pube again let's see if he actually talks to the barkeeper he is no one's nope. going for it no few pugs no one's interested in the pub crawl uh i wouldn't be interested in those pukes at all at this point uh i would kill the pukes but why you already have two minervas no, only jones has two minervas I'm pretty sure everyone else has found both the Minervas. Yeah, but P Pugs isn't dangerous. Um, not at lower levels anyway. They're scaled down from level 99. Yeah, there is there is that, yeah. Jones still fighting this Jerrigan. I guess he has life too, so that's, that's helping him. And the Yeti is doing 1,300 with a tackle, which isn't awful. Yeah, it's only going to take 20 tackles to kill it, though. Yep, uh, it's more a matter of keeping Baron up to shock. Uh, yeah, it looks like Jones is basically just going to try to sandbag his way through this fight for some quick experience. I mean, if you can kill an unscaled dragon early, it's usually worth your time if you can do it reasonably quickly. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not going to be quick, and it's by no means a guaranteed fight when it can just straight up cast the Pearl spell three times in a row. You can't runic three, runic three spells at the same time. Interestingly, you can't even runic two spells at the same time if you have two different runic you Yeah, they, they both just absorb the spell. No, it only it goes to the person who cast runic last. Ah. A single global flag, apparently. Okay, so. but don't, don't they both stick the swords up nope. when that happens? I found this out in this exact fight uh, a few months ago. Ah, by trying to be like, oh, you can runic this holy, and then you can runic that holy. Yeah. yeah, I thought, oh, I can get through this. It's not likely he's going to use it three times in a row. I can just double runic it, and I'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. Well, uh, Monkey's back into Marish. We made it to the top without uh, getting ambushed by a white dragon. And Valley Garmanda is the least dangerous boss in the game, probably Narappa. Uh, yeah, Narappa's... I'd say never an issue. I can't think of any reason why it would be. If you found it in the Fanatics Tower is the only place I can think That's, of. That's, yeah, that is one place where it could be particularly bad since it's got the auto-reflect on. Exactly, so you need to have pretty specific spells to get through that. Yeah. Well, we've got an amazing flying salmon there on Green Monkey's side. That'll put out a bit of offense. Dragon finally down for Jones, and the reward from the Tritic spot is going to be a Magicite. Is it Tritic? See, this is why Leader is the leader. He can chase people without even moving his legs. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't quite read the name of the Esper there. It started with an M, I believe. Warp and... At least I thought it started with an M, but now I'm not seeing one. 
with an M inside. Well, of the we thing. know you can only read like eighteen of the twenty-six letters. Yeah, I know it's very difficult. It's very difficult when you know some of the less common letters like E tend to show up. Yeah. Or two. Two is a really nasty letter. Yeah. Or threeve. Yeah, threeve. That's a good one too. Well, they're gonna wrap a fight for Jones, and we're gonna see what the next boss is. So yeah, three, in, uh... three comes after one and two. Does it? It's not a good one or a good two. It's a good three. Exactly. Yeah. Waterfall. Yeah. Easy fight for Bree. Wonder if she'll crack the ice shield here too, or is it still on the Yeti? And what is in the Yeti's has its force armor. Uh, so based on what we've seen everyone do, uh, progression is going to be either gated behind Mog or Kefka at Nersh, I think. Well, I do have the spoiler log since I do have to vet these seeds to ensure doability for the various squares, and I do know where they have to go. <coughs> I was not aware it was gating the entire seed, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a card you are. Well, there's a train for Green Monkey, but uh, no suplex. I only read That's enough to, to make sure the squares work. I don't make sure it's a nice seat. Yeah, Groove. Yeah. Doom Train! It's a good train. Fortunately, Sabin does not have his normal Blitz. He can just uh, hang out and not suplex the train. Brianna kills some espers. And Jones is about to find himself a force shield and a train that lives in a cave. And some Yeti on Yeti violence incoming. I mean, you run into a weak boss like this, maybe this is the time to, like, just take the weapons off and punch it out. You can take your weapons off in combat. Yeah, Ghost Train's got that whole evil toot thing going on. That's a... I guess that can be pretty darn nasty. And if you're sitting on Doom as well, like I would have done that with probably Narappa, who has very little health, or Leader. We've seen two of the weakest bosses in the game already. If you run into Tunnel Armor, that's another solid candidate. That's especially solid candidate, because Tunnel Armor has extremely low physical defense. Indeed. And it looks like Jones is just going to go for some raw damage to take out the train. Yep, so that is a dead train, and Jones is also now sitting at almost an entire column. Yeah, it's an undead enemy. It counts. So, center column uh, looking reasonably uh, reasonably feasible for everyone there. Just got to beat something to death with sticks. Yep, rods Green, green monkeys inside uh, everyone's favorite and totally not RNG-based area. I mean, people do hate it, but it's also statistically quite fast. Brianna apparently trying to send a letter in World of Ruin Mobiles, which I'm not sure is possible. Is, it, is That's not World of Ruin Mobiles. Well, why is Duncan in the dog? I don't there? know! Has anyone ever gone what? into that house before in the randomizer? <laughs> Brianna sends letter number one. Does Brianna know how to advance it to letter number two? And Jones fighting one of the nastier bosses in the game most of the time. Uh, she just sent it and left, so maybe not. Thank you for the raid, Choco Kings. Welcome to the seed. She sent it, she left, and she's going to the bed. You're, all you have to do is talk to the it's a, it's a weird trigger. It's a weird trigger. Yeah. This has come up prominently the last time we had a bingo square that involved sending letters. Yeah, well, there's a Senor Behemoth inside of Ebbets Rock. Shouldn't be too bad for Green Monkey. Uh, Jones dealing with the Stooges uh, up in the air. That's uh, that's a much less pleasant encounter. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a nice fight, especially if you run into it accidentally in the middle of the sky. Yep. <laughs> I mean, should get through it uh, just 
by virtue of shock alone. Shock's a particularly good command in this fight. Especially if there are monkeys around, so you can shock the monkey. I made reference to a song that I don't remember. You sure did. Jones down to the ideable Larry. Shock works just as well. Shock, good. And down goes the Strontium Behemoth. Lots of instant kills on bosses today. Instant kills are great. They and do all of the damage at once. Jones finds a red cap. <laughs> Another That's Santa hat that he's not allowed to wear. Player. And monkey finds lock. Yeah. Okay, so progress not gated behind Mog slash Kefka at Nurse. You get a lock. Lock's got dance. That is one of the things. Indeed it is. And if you haven't done Tri Talk yet, now is a good time to do Tri Talk. Unfortunately, pretty, he did Tri Talk pretty, here. Pretty monkey's already done that, but uh, if you're desperate for a square, it's not too hard to get. I mean, do you start with any dances under these settings? Might you start with it. between two and four, based on the current iteration of the standard race preset. Yeah, so you might already know it. I mean, well, with lock and toe, I think you're probably going to go back to Nersh for uh, a quick uh, looting stop anyway. I don't know if you'd really be thinking about checking the Cursed Shield an hour into a race, but... It could be one. Yeah, it and it's right one. there. It's right there. It could be one, but here's the problem with the Kurt, the Paladin Shield. You don't need it. Everyone's got all these wacky and outrageously good shields already. Yeah, but it's the Paladin Shield. Oh, someone's visiting Sid. Was feeling much better with your taking absolutely zero care of him. Yep. If only it was that easy. If only it was that easy. Well, Jones going to do Evitz, so that'll be a lock for Jones. And Brienne is about to find an Edgar, the fourth character. So, unfortunately, Edgar doesn't lead to more characters, and she is likely to follow that line. Uh, Edgar led to Mog. Ah, yes, nobody's done whatever Mog does yet. Yeah. And uh, Brianna has successfully got some Lords of Leaping. Yep. That's another square for Brianna. Two characters in the air at the same time. Hey, it's a corner square, too. Uh, that means it has the most crust. Yeah. Bree's got, Bree's got a good amount of possibilities to make a line there. Yep. Already seeing the Atma Weapon Offering pairing, apparently, on Jones there. Yeah, Jones, uh, after busting that dragon up, is at a level uh, where it's actually uh, approaching being valid. Yep. Yeah. I think it was on Sabin. That might have been why he kept him in. Yeah, it is on Sabin. Yeah. Well, if Sabin can use the Atma weapon, then the lack the lack of uh, good Ooh, secondary is a lot less. No, oh, no, it's the nicest it's a... boss to find when you have uncontrollable things. And untargetable other things. Oh, oh. it's a, it's a snowman. So you started with the snowman, Jess, so there's that. You have ice damage, but uh, unfortunately Rexel doesn't really... You have ice damage. Rexel's weak to ice. Yeah, but, but... it's a random dance. Yeah, no, but those... The... It's like a jazz dance. Well, dude! They just make it up as they go along. Dude, you didn't even let me finish what I was going to say. That's yeah, usually best not to. Yeah, well, it was going to be good, but now I don't even want to say whatever it was I was going to say. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, I bet you do. And some of the dance is fire. That's the theme song for the dance. Gotcha. For the snowman dance. Gotcha. You don't want to dance it near the snowman. I mean, they'll melt. Yeah. You know, because they're made of snow. Yeah. The fire is hot. Are we done? Are, are you done? I can continue. I know you can, but are you done? <laughs> Do you want me to be? I, I think that's in everyone's best interest right now. Uh, yeah, putting me on comms in the first place is usually not in everyone's best interest. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. 
Maybe not. Rexall fight ongoing again with, uh, you know, unpredictable, uncontrollable, unspecifiable damage. This fight can take a bit, even if you've got the damage to kill Rexall. Just because those little idiots take forever to die and come back to life. Yeah, and there's no eliminating them. They will always, always be there. It was a lucky little jump there. Of all the hits landed directly on Rexel. Jones has a choice between Odin and a behemoth suit, and he picks Odin. Well, that's not really a choice. No, it was a choice. He could have picked the other one. He's only got two Minervas. Okay, it's not really worth considering. How about that? There you go. Not even checking the Cursed Shield, which uh, is cursed, by the way. Very cursed. And Brianna finds a Gigantos. Didn't she already fight that one? Uh, it he killed must have her. Died, it it yeah. killed her because it was at the very start. So, reasonable to come back to this monster in a box once you know where the Gigantos is. Oh, yeah, just come get all the experience in the world. Out comes the Doom, down goes the Giant. It's like a, Bye, that's like more than a dragon's worth of experience at this point, probably. Uh, I didn't see the number, but ten, it was definitely it was five, five digits. Five digits, yeah. Yeah. I did not see the first number either. People must have like speed reading classes that they take just to just to save some frames on those end of fight. Oh, you just you, you just you just hold A. It's just habit. You hold A. I, ne I never really look at the experience numbers unless I'm actually. Oh, look at that! Green monkey picks up the Shiva Esper. That is a Diwali. Well, Diwali was in November, I think, this year. But he still gets a square based on Diwali. Yeah. So that's where that Shiva Esper is. Yay! Where is that space it? doesn't really uh, benefit Green Monkey too much. But uh, if someone like, say, Bree were to find that, uh, that'd be a pretty significant square for her. Yeah, he has also forgotten to uh, do the dancing square. Should probably give him a reminder. And, uh... So those those are the Manzozo enemies, the ones you want to find. And uh, he's bringing Yuletide traditional Odin sacrifices. Yep. Pulling out Bismarck as well, interestingly. Um, yeah. No, no, I, you didn't specify on the square itself, does Odin have to kill every single enemy in the fight for it to count as a sacrifice? That was the intention. But uh, I'm willing to let it slide if he, you know, reads it differently. I, th I think you kind of have to because there's there's not many of them, but there's enough enemies that are invincible to instant death. I mean, and then you have things happen where Umar is just like, "I'm not waiting for you. I'm gonna kill this dude right now." Yeah, that that one is almost inarguably fine. Yeah. But yeah, whatever. I'll I'll, I'll let him. I'm, I'm not that concerned. He's using Odin. Maybe he'll go find a Yule Log in, in the Chocobo forests. <laughs> hey, maybe. Who knows? I mean, uh, Jones is going to pick up the Shiva Esper here after uh, some very slow, slow, untargeted attacks against Rexol. Yeah, and Gigantos is about to be killed again. For a different player, but hey, it's still lots of experiences. Chumping with a gravity rod is the green monkey. Got the prop. Yeah. Hey, it works. And Umaro, I mean Sabin, dishing out about fifteen hundred a shot with the Atma weapon, uh, which is you know quite reasonable. Reasonable. Yeah, you'd like to see it more in the like four or five k range, but you still got lots of time to get It'll there. Get there. Yeah. Jones currently just needs one more Esper to go to KT in addition to his uh, bingo square. Brianna sitting at four and four. Uh, needs to find a couple characters. Four Espers. Green Monkey, one Esper ahead of her. And Bingo just v doing very poorly. Doesn't even have the starting number of characters. Very disappointed in this Bingo play. Yeah. 
I mean, it's like they're not even playing the game. Yep. Jones kills a Rexel, and Green Monkey opens the relic a, shop for the some relic reason? shop, which is the wrong one. There you go. Shiva for Jones, and Brianna about to kill an imp and some blue wiggles. Yeah, it was uh, Air Force was in this spot, I believe. That was either a two or a seven on the cursed shield. Quite low. And Jones keeps finding all the ID undoable enemies. And, uh... Oh! A green monkey's putting hats on. Green monkey's putting hats on. The square is unclicked. It has been for a while. Yeah. It's hat o'clock for the greenest of monkeys. Also cursed shield o'clock. Which is not something I would put on a character with magic. Yeah, that's... No, there's you know, ribbons from the start of the game. He'll be fine. Yeah. He'll be fine. Yeah, there is the ribbons of it. Looks like Brianna's got the Atma weapon on the Umaro. Yeah. Not doing that much damage. That was just five hundo, but the snowman is missing a fair chunk of health. Yes. Out exactly. comes the Cure 3. Uh... Quite overpowered as a cure spell. If you get to the end of this game and you have cure two, you're fine. You, typically, yeah. If you have cure three, that's like throwing four elixirs. Or X potions, I suppose. It is nice, yes. Jones killing a chimera. Who's those vector goyle enemies? You're a vector goyle. I was not aware of that. Getting the Mount Colts play here from Monkey. There'll be an Edgar in line here. Jones apparently going to talk to the relatives. Uh, this old lady, the matron. Uh, you will also have to talk to Sid and Duncan. And the fourth one, right? Gav's yeah, dead. Yeah. It's almost like I was paying almost no attention when I made these squares. <laughs> Even though it took literally hours. Yeah. Well, I'm going to visit the family. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's... He can also burn way. himself on a nice stove in here. Yeah, definitely. Elect not to. There is the family square. Bottom left. Bottom left, yeah. So another corner piece, he wants all the icing. Uh, and that would give him a solid line possible at uh, on the bottom and sort of the left. I mean, he's got the Odin thing in hand. He just would need to find the ice dragon. Yeah. There's, and still, there's, still, there's still some open dragon spots, so... Could be in play. Maybe that's the hope. Maybe the hope is that it'll just be one of the Durgans inside Kefka's tower, since uh, Jones does have the base requirements to get in there anyway. Yep. Uh, requirements for the skip would be two more characters and an Esper, uh, which is not super likely to come up. But uh, he will have to find a nice dragon, which, and I do know where it is. Uh, and it's not the easiest Durgan to find. It isn't in the tower. Oh, well, uh... That means that Jones's plan is doomed to failure, and you just kind of spoiled that for everyone. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, Jones visited a Duncan. Bree's going through Ancient Castle. Green Monkey is fighting a big green guy. He learned bum rush. And uh, the bingo board is showing its bingo squares. It should really be more modest. Yeah, Jones visited all the families. There's a nice visit to Sid, who is doing fine. He, he switched out his yellow life jacket for a much more Christmassy incredibly blue one <laughs> yep. and uh monkey has killed 
Zava, about to gather him an Edgar, and it looks like Jones is gonna go try to find that ice dragon. Yeah, Bree just got Mog. Mog's got rage. That there's a lot of potential there. Uh, rage with the iteration of the standard race preset goes from twenty to forty something, I believe. That's a pretty solid change of having one uh, having one good rage in there. Yeah. Well, it's a storm Durgan for Bree. Uh, that's not gonna be much of an issue packing a bunch of Minervas. Not particularly. Just a matter of uh, getting the 42,000 damage worth of health it has down. Jones goes looking for a Durgan. It's the blue one. Not the ice one Jones is, is, was hoping for. No, it's not cold enough for the blue Durgan to have evolved into its winter form. Uh, that's also why it gets smaller. You know how water gets smaller when you freeze it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Famously. I think I need a drink. Oh, Brianna getting all the wind in her face. Nice winter storm. Jones doing solid 2k a shot with that Atma weapon now. And with Cure 3 on the box. Oh, the blue, uh, the blue, blue dragon's usually a pushover anyway. Pretty much, uh, unless it steals your dog. Oh yeah, that's a thing that can happen with some extremely obscure bug with that Riffler spell. Yep. But uh, I, I was saying, uh, Cure 3, when you're using an ammo weapon, you definitely want some way to keep your health up. Uh, and having access to a ridiculous Cure spell will definitely do that. Well, usually Atma Weapon lends itself well to keeping your health up because of how quickly you can dispatch things with it. No, no. Dispatch is sword tech. Yeah. I... Uh... You can tell I'm right because he doesn't have a response. Sure don't. Looks like we're going to get... An Azra's Mansion, perhaps? Uh, Jones is gonna go look at the paintings, maybe. Ah, that is another square. Nice, uh, Hindu reference there. Yeah, there's nothing but rings in that relic store, but I think, uh, Jones already has that square, yeah. Aren't you gonna party? It's when you... It's when oh. you... Here, come, here comes all the dried meats and all the tonics. 99 dried meats for, uh, Jones. Mm -hmm. So I guess a couple of, a couple of pairs of Dragoon Boots would uh, get the rest of that taken care of, or Palador Esper. Yep, I know where Palador is. Uh, looks like uh, Jones, yeah. Mm -hmm. He might know where Dragoon Boots are. They're, they're definitely for sale. We've seen them in a couple of places. Yeah. Yeah, get a couple pair of those, and there's your bingo. Probably not the one he was aiming for, but at this point you'll take any line, right? Yep. I mean, I'm kind of surprised nobody ever found rods. Uh, were they for sale in this seed? Oh, they're for sale in the number. Oh, then just a matter of just a matter of looking for them. Yeah. Well, I mean, we not didn't, not we didn't not really like see breakable rods, but yeah. Well, I mean, you can still wax them yeah. with like mithril rods or gravity rods or whatever. Yep, gravity rod we have seen. Yeah, so uh, Jones is officially on the hunt for some Dragoon Boots. And he has found and the Dragoon they Boots. Are. Now he just needs to take a fight, get some people up in the airs, and then jump his way to Kafka's Tower. Not too far of a jump from Albrook. I mean, it's quite high. Eh, it's not that high. It's like barely taller than your character. It's like maybe half a tile taller than your character at most. Yeah, but that 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 world sprite is all of your characters standing on each other's shoulders in a trench coat like a tyrannosaur trying to get into a super super dragon age movie. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Well, that should make that should make the jump even easier then cuz all you have to do is just Push the one at the top. Yeah, but what if they're not the one with the boots? Well, 
That's why Jones bought more than one pair. Oh, so he can put both pairs on one person and make them look even taller so they can get into that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. I mean, Pretty you, clever, Jack. You can even wear, like, the boots on your hands. And then you could just run around on all fours. Yeah, exactly. You would do so much more damage jumping with two pairs of Dragoon boots at once. You totally would. Oh, there's another ammo weapon just sitting in the chest there. Nice. Bit late to be outright buying a noise blaster, but I guess if it's 125, you might as well pick it up. It costs absolutely nothing, so why not? And I mean, it seems late, but I mean, we've seen air anchors for sure. I'm pretty sure we have uh, seen chainsaws somewhere. Bomb, bomb, but bomb blah. Bumble. Bumble. I don't get it. Uh, wasn't that the name of like the snowman in that one Christmas movie? Uh, um, where Bruce where, 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 where Bruce Willis has to shoot a whole bunch of dudes in a building. Jaws. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Kajikol. I don't know what a Kajikol is. It's a pound of coal. Mm. Or more accurately, a kilogram of coal. For our, you know, friends from countries that use systems of measurement that aren't really dumb. You mean like Canada? Yeah, we kind of default into that dumb American crap a lot of the time. Yeah, it's because we're right next to them. Yep. We have too much trade. Also, the UK tends to use a lot of weird imperial measurements. Yeah, everything should just be measured in gaggles. We should just go back to measuring things in, like, hands and paces and man heights. Everyone knows what those are. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or just start weighing everyone in moles. Here's a joke for you chemistry people. I don't know. I don't think moles are very heavy. Uh, it depends how much you feed them. Uh, I'm not sure how you can feed the things that like grow on someone's butt. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, you've officially just said the stupidest thing of the night. And I'm here. Jones has Capcus Tower yep. under his feet. Reeve is visiting the families. And it looks like Green Monkey is going through the ancient castle. Brianna still needs one character, two espers. Green Monkey needs one character, one esper, and he's going to get a character here. In the Moogle. Yep. You get a Mog. And we're about to see an Inferno fight for Santa. Well, Santa and Stowman got to fight the easiest Ultros, or rather, Gifts and Stole. That is a really sad offering, paired with a spear. Ugh. That is a nicer offering, paired with an Atma weapon. Yeah, it does, like, damage and stuff. Mm. Offering on Umaro always makes me sad. And that's why you cry yourself to sleep. Often, yeah. Storm Durgan fight for Green Monkey, apparently pulling out Flare. I don't know where we found that, but uh, oh god! I've rarely been looking at the Esper screen at any time someone has actually pulled it up, which has not been super often. Come on, you must have better options than Flare, Monkey. You oh, must right. have better options than Flare. I see level 2 spells right there. Use those. They do more damage and are faster. Yeah, but Flare. Yeah, but level twos. Yeah, level twos are better than flare. But but it's flare. Level twos are stronger than flare. Yeah, but flare has the funniest noise. Yeah, but no one can hear that noise because we're listening to Bree. 
Oh, someone should tell Monkey. And Brianna fighting the White Dragon. Uh, you can see it's in its natural habitat, where it's very blue skin can blend into the white snow. Uh, yeah, basically. That's why it's called the White Dragon. Sorry, a White Dragon. Yeah, yeah, get it right. No, I gotta get it right. Don't want to get it left. Uh, up to the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that joke was so dumb. I love it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, I'm not proud of it. I'm surprised it got a reaction. Jones up to the switches on two of his characters here. I uh, just gotta walk through the rest of KT. Still gathering chests, which is usually in uh, a racer of Jones's caliber, a sign that he's not super confident in in his gear but i would say you know he's not gonna have a terribly difficult time with final kafka and here is the switch uh the other two are still fighting the dragons brianna has found the cleverly disguised blue dragon hidden in the snow and killed it she sure did. Yeah, but uh, Monkey is still fighting that Storm Dragon, still putting out those flares. Well, there's a very interesting uh, Pearl Lance pickup for Bree there. Uh, there are boots and horns floating around. Boots and horns and boots and horns and boots and horns and boots and horns. Yeah. Find someone that can use that uh, Pearl Lance and you've got another really potent attacker. Yep, also a Thunder Shield as the randomized reward there, which is, you know, we've seen a lot of shields this game. So just toss it on the pile, I guess. <laughs> Vagus and the Ipoos. The Boogie Woogie Kings. Yeah, I don't know. I got their LP. It was wholly underwhelming. Hiding in the Hide Knights. Now that's a real band right there. Yeah, I listen to them on wax cylinders because it's the most authentic. Yep. And down goes Vargas. As usual, not a terribly difficult boss unless you happen to be playing with Normalize and Distort on, which pretty much oh, straight God. up changes <laughs> the entire nature of the game. Uh, that fight in particular gets hit really hard with Normalize and Distort. Anything with multiple parts yeah. is just horrendous with Normalize and Distort. Narappa fight for Brianna. Oh, jeez, this is... Uh... Well, good thing they're both wearing offerings. Yep, good for that. Because otherwise, this could be a big old problem. Offerings luckily bypass whatever the thing is called, love token. Yes. Where uh, you are forced to hit your own party members with attacks. Because reasons. Not particularly good ones, but they're there anyway. Anyway, Jones just uh, offered the goddess a moment of respite. But Diwali was months ago. Yeah, that's that's why it was a joke. Was it? It was more of a joke than uh, which is a syllable. Yes, yes it is. I I can't argue that point. Yeah, Green Monkey finds a lobo. We Brianna Jumping down, gonna find, I believe, a force shield in here. Not what she's gonna want. Still looking for two espers. And a character. And a character. So, uh, you know, not an ideal situation here. Green Monkey looking at the... Oh, now there's the Boogie Woogie King. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Jones 
Jones fighting that hiding and uh, dancing, which mm -hmm. is just putting that other square on the board, I guess. I mean, he did put the square on the board. Yeah. Uh, it's not the fight I would choose to dance in, but uh, not going oh, to dead either way. Yeah, this could actually end pretty badly for Jones. This is not going well. Both people were poisoned. Now one of them is dead. Yeah, if any status that takes control away from Jones's Edgar, that's uh, basically a wipe. Yep. Uh, Hayden, not generally a boss you want to fight with uh, the party that's going on here. No, and uh, Shock's playing with fire there because it'll use a really powerful move whenever it's left alone. I don't think the scaling's gotten high enough to run into something like Ultima, but uh, it could oh, still be a really oh, nasty move. Oh, down to just Hyden and a zombie lock. Here comes Medio. Medio. Okay. Not a nice could spell, be a lot dodgeable. Worse. Dodgeable. Or just sit and get hit by a bolt. Looks like Brianna's going for the lone wolf check. I'll be a first look at that. And our first look at uh, the reward for Kafka at Nash. Uh, whether she opts to go for it, we will see. Yeah, Medio. Uh, I think, uh, I think Jones should consider himself lucky that that's what came out <laughs> compared to much nastier potential moves. Oh yeah, when, when you're talking about uh, non-elemental things, you could get a Fallen one in there, you can get Ultima, you know, nasty stuff. I think Shrapnel's in that, yeah, in that shrapnel, category. Yeah, Shrapnel's in there, that's another... Hyperdrive. Oh, Hyperdrive is death to a single character, basically. It's, uh, it's not a nice time. Brianna! At the top of Nersh again, but in a different world. There's a green shadow. Green ninja. See, he's green like the blue dragon, so that he can blend into the white background of the snow. Yeah, really smart there. Really smart. And there's an imp. Imp. Yeah. Green I'm monkey down more Joannis there, so there is one more battle to be fought before the final one. And Brianna about to gather a Magicite Torado. So the obvious play here is to get Shadow and finish whatever line she's going for. Well, she's already visited most of the family, so yeah. I think she'd finish that one. By the feast, it'd be the same line uh, that Jones ended up doing. Yep. Uh, just due to the order in which they did things. Pretty much, yeah. It'd be interesting to see what uh, other people who are running it off stream wind up doing later on. Yeah, I think I think the big uh, oh god, this is really bad for Jones. This I I think this could be a leave the party, leave the tower, and reorganize your party situation. Oh, it's got regen. Uh, yeah, it's high level piranhas. That's really bad. What well, regen? That ain't gonna do much. Their bite attacks will be hitting four figures at this point. Well, Savin just has to be fast and blocky. Yeah, pretty much. And he's been working on the blockiness by going to the gun. Yeah, those hits aren't doing a whole lot there with all the he's damage taken. Taking them out. Yeah, you, need, you don't need a lot of damage to kill the piranhas, thankfully, so it's probably better to just keep attacking rather than heal and lose all your health by the time you get another turn. Yep. Monkey... Hope, for a quick, hope for a quick Rizipus. That's when the fight will become less dangerous. Monkey now visiting Gao's father. As one does during the holidays. And here's a Rizipus biting for 2,000 damage, basically. Yep. That's, uh... That's, that's actually quite unlucky, because Rizipus tends to use a lot of spells rather than physicals there. The, the dangerous part of that fight was, in theory, over for Jones. Retries the fast soldier skip and gets caught. That is one of those things you kind of have to practice. Uh, I mean, I can pretty much do it most times, but whether or not I run into Ryder immediately afterwards is a big old question mark. Yeah. 
and then if you fail it, you've got to escape from basically three battles in a row to be able to take another step. Well, Jones is just going to go right back in there and try the piranhas again. Yep, he's got some rages. Going for the magic urn, the thing that if you do it, you are basically unkillable. Oh, um, magic urn? It's very good defensively, but... Uh... See, this is all physical damage. Magic Urn doesn't just randomly set your defense to the maximum value. No, nope, but it does cure three. Yeah, the cures will help. I mean, Mog is still basically going to be one shot by any attack, but it'll at least help uh, keep Saturn's helpful. Well, up. And you can see the tentacles also using the snow to camouflage their baby tentacles. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see that. Yeah. Down there hanging out with the white dragons and the... The, the blue green dra shadows. The blue dra don't, don't forget the, the blue, blue white blue dragons. dragons. Yeah, the blue white dragons. Yeah, and the green shadows. Yeah. Are the tyrannosaurs inside the trench coat there too? No, you'd be able to see that. They're so they, they're tall. That's the point. They look like they're a super tyrannosaur. Yeah, but but they're camouflaged in the snow. Maybe they just look like a mountain. Yeah, but they're like some kind of greeny brown color. That's not gonna get camouflaged by the white snow. It only camouflages blue and green. Well, this is going a lot better for Jones this time. Just a couple of elemental spells, uh, completely harmless, and it'll be chopped up to pieces here now. Yeah, 100%. Just needed a second pass with a bit more luck. And uh, down goes Rizipus. And Brianna gets herself a shadow. And therefore, he's ready for KT. Not necessarily for Final Kafka. Still needs to do something to get herself a line. On the bingo card. Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna end up seeing the exact same three, uh, uh, the same line by all three of our racers. Here's what it's starting to look like. I mean, uh, Monkey just has to prepare the feast and is heading to a typical uh, go and do an item shop town. There's well, the meat. There's the meat. <laughs> Not enough money, though. <laughs> Ooh. Monkey needs money. Money for monkey. Yep. Jones and is off to the final Jones battle. About to start. Final Kafka at 133. Brianna going to a town. And Monkey just looking for some fights. Uh, yep. Pretty much the only way you're going to get money. Can't sell anything. You got to save up for the big meals. And not the nicest fight ever, but it should be reasonably valuable. Well, bad news for Bree. The items that uh, she needs, neither of them are in that store. And Bree and also, she's also poor. Also out of money. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Brianna still needs to visit the family. Not a lot. Oh my God, Green Monkey! Stop! You have better things to do on your turn. Oh. Fortis there just showing off, Mega Shock. Walking around with regular shock there, Edgar, you <laughs> lazy weak garbage man. No, you are, but what am I? Uh an idiot. Oh uh, okay. That's how that quote goes, right? No, you ruined it. Oh. Just like most things in life. That's what I'm here for. Oh, well, Baron stole the gifts. Hooray for some extremely underwhelming Marrow action. And a dead Setzer. I mean, a dead Strago. They're the same person. Oh, well, in terms of usefulness, they often are, yes. And Brianna finding a Duncan, talking to a Duncan, learning from a Duncan, fighting an old man. That's what you do in the holidays. You get all your weird old uncles around, and then they say something racist, and then you fight them. Nice. Or you just jump on some dwellers and fortices. Ooh, what kind of level is Monkey at? Not five. That's fortuitous. No, it's fortis. All right. 
That's pronunciations in action. Oh. This Umaro is real crap on Jones. Uh, gonna have to hope for tackles to get any real damage in him. Well, tackles already cut in half from the offering there too. Valid point again. Yeah. And uh, keep you keep you keep him around on the team for the square, and then uh, you don't really prepare him particularly well. Well, there wasn't really a lot to go around in terms of offensive options for Romero. Uh, Atom a weapon without offering would have been fine. And then you'd kick Sabin out of the parody. Because Sabin without the Atma weapon in this seed is a trash heap. Yep. Yeah, Jones, uh, Jones needs to fix the row on some of his characters there. Well, unfortunately, can't fix Umaro. At least the switch between tiers resets the character's rows. Well, tier one down for Jones. Usually not a difficult opponent. Yeah, tier two and tier three are the areas where you're going to have issues here. There's meat for monkey. Monkey meat. Monkey meat. Well, uh, we'll have to hope it's not monkey meat. Otherwise, we're going to have to have a serious conversation with monkey about cannibalism can what's wrong with that i just don't like canned goods <laughs> well out comes the doom out comes the stop that'll uh <laughs> that'll slow things down quite a bit here it should be cantabilism mm. cantabilism can't 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 like like you're not you're not able to you you can't abolize you it. can't abolism you can't abolize no you, you just can't you just can't do it you can't abolize that's a life lesson people <laughs> rihanna fighting some bombs uh in the early days of this rando they were the reason you would go to burning house right away because they were quite valuable yeah, in terms the, of experiencing gold well, the balloons were th those bombs from Sabin's scenario they're worthless Good. well it was still you're six gonna thousand hurt bucks. your self-esteem what keep your comments to yourself but on this commentary <laughs> yeah oh yeah uh you know do exactly the opposite of the thing that i volunteered to do that's that's a great idea yep that's why we keep letting you do it. Jones got some poise home going on. Yep. Uh, and again, just the health issues. Yeah, very, very fishy. Very fishy. No, no, Piranha was a while ago. Yeah, but, yeah, but is Le Poisson. Yes. Part of the reason is hard to he's got, people. He's got two Le Poisson. Okay, well now he only has one Le Poisson, but then he has one Le, uh, really cold and stuff. Probably also a fish. Probably. That's all flash frozen these days. Yeah. Uh, so Jones, tier two. Brianna. Oh, isn't that rude? Oh, the boss is turning so... around this top spell. Jones nice. stops hits, so magic stops gifts. Brianna into KT now. Monkey just needs one Esper. Everybody did the bottom line. Yeah, everyone ended up with the bottom line. You can see by all the squares that were checked elsewhere that it wasn't just the only line in consideration ever, but just the way things lined up, it ended up uh, being pretty good to go for. I think it was really just finding all the pairs of Dragoon boots that really unlocked that line. Yes. I mean... I do have to vet these seeds beforehand, so th everything on here was doable. Some things aren't super efficient, but I try to make the line in, in such a way that they're about even in terms of difficulty. It's just with the particular way that these racers routed things, that wound up being the, the one that they did. Well, I think we're going to see a Super Dragoon Edgar over on Bree's side. I saw that uh, Pearl Lance go on there. That'd be a very, very optimal setup. Yeah, end game shock not great. End game jumpy, very great. jumpy jump mans. <laughs> yeah, that's especially if you can get on the shoulders of all the other characters, like we were talking about before. He'll yeah, have even yeah. more height. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. 
just jump straight in from the top of KT. Yup. I don't think the Dragoons make enough use of the airship. So what they should do is they should get Setzer to come in with the H-bomb. And when, when the airship comes in, they jump on it. Oh, yeah. And then when the airship goes up again, I mean, A, to get out of the way of the hydrogen bomb. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, but but B, once you're up in the air, up in the sky, you jump down with your lance. I thought you jumped with your legs. <laughs> Not if you're an amputee. <laughs> well, then how do you jump? You, you push off with the lance. Like, like you learn... Are, 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 all, are all dragoons amputees? No, they're, they're trained pole vaulters. <laughs> uh, oh, tier 2 on its final legs for Jones. There's a double D spell. Is that the end of the phase, though? Yeah, it it's is. a dead gift. That's a dead gift. That is, that is Jones's most potent offensive character dead for the rest of the final battle. Oh, and uh, it seems Green Monkey is up to KT as well. I guess uh, the tracking was a bit behind there. But, uh, you know, I, I regularly say tracking is the one restream job I can't do. And that's because it's legit hard to pay attention to all that stuff. Bree going after Toilet Atma for reasons. I really hope Bree just resets right out of this because it's an Ultros battle with zero experience yeah but then she'd have to walk back you know? yeah and i guess you, i guess there is still the item that you get from doing it i suppose that's something here's something yeah. jones just gonna press on here against final kafka could be a pretty uh interesting finish here uh Jones did lose the most potent offensive weapon he's got, so... I mean, Savin's still doing pretty decent damage. Come to think. Uh, it's going to be close between uh, Monkey and Bree for sure, and if, maybe if Jones has to redo the final battle, it'll become a three-way race again. You're a three-way race. I thought I was a six-way race. Oh no, the bingo card. Oh no, the bingo card. You lost the bingo card. I lost the bingo card. Come back, bingo card. You, like, super lost the bingo card. There you go. I don't know how you managed to ruin that. I, I regularly forget that if you... Did, don't keep your windows unminimized then twitch can't steal them it makes it a hassle when you're trying to just flip around between things and check things yeah. another one bites the dust for jones baron aka edgar is down <laughs> so I, I think we're gonna see a final party of uh mog stole the lock <laughs> <laughs> Mog stole the lock. Yep, there it is. I mean, that's just straight up factual. Yeah. Mog stole the lock. Well, hopefully Mog doesn't steal the victory here, because as far as offense goes, Jones has a Yeti who is an actual liability against Final Kefka due to counterattacks, and a Sabin, and two other characters who are just kind of there. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be Sabin, and then hoping that Umaro doesn't trigger some kind of Ultima counter. Pretty much, yeah. Or just straight up letting Umaro die, or manually killing him. Uh, I don't... It's actually remarkable damage for a crappy off-ranged spear. I think it might be the Pearl Lance, which oh, would well. make it even more of a waste, because you can't get the, the spell drops with offering. No, well, he is keeping his Yeti going. Uh, Sabin's doing a solid 10k a turn. The Yeti doing about 6k. Into Beyond Chaos. We'll have to see what's going on with him. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't even. I, I don't even know why Jones is even thinking about reviving a uh, character here. They're just gonna go right down. 
I think you just kind of, I think this is one of those rare cases where you just have, because you are relying on Umaro for half your damage, you just have to swing right through the fight and hope you don't get counterattacks, because Umaro ain't going to play nice. Here is a flame shield to be broken. Uh, I probably would have done that with Mog before he straight up got killed by Goner when he was just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, well, but we're into counter territory we're into here. Counter -territory. So... Dangerous moments for Jones here. No counter from Kefka, so that That's is very something. good. It's something. Also, a, a note that, uh, you know, just because you put on cool, cool sunglasses doesn't mean... You can't hit Kefka. Oh god, it's down oh, to Amaro yeah. for Jones. Is this going to be enough? Is that attack enough to finish Kefka? Yes, it is. That is quite the end there for Jones. And we will see if we can get Jones in for an interview. Uh, and ask him about things. And possibly stuff. Very possibly stuff. And we are now joined by Jones. Uh, GG's, well done, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so, I mean, we obviously have to talk about that ending there. <laughs> you hey, lost... you know, this is a, it was a Christmas seed, so it had to end that way, right? It was it a had to be festivist the snowman. miracle. <laughs> well, yeah, it really you, was. <laughs> you lost Strago on tier two. You lost uh, the other character who I've forgotten because I was definitely paying attention on tier three. And uh, yeah, how, how did you feel going into that final tier of Kefka? Uh, I felt okay because I knew that. I mean, with Saban having that Atmo weapon, and I had two trash characters that could at least use items I thought it was going to be okay uh, I was hoping I'd get one more turn off before Goner but then hit and I'm like alright well I still have these two and then Saban got the Havoc Wing and I'm like ah oh, crap <laughs> yeah I'm always if I ever wind up with Umaro in my end game party I'm always worried about the counters there um, oh yeah yeah Whew. they can be <clears throat> very nasty but uh, it worked out for you you didn't get the counter on the umaro swing and the second umaro swing did it for you yeah i was really excited about that <laughs> yeah it was quite good so what, what did you think of the, the seed and the bingo overall oh uh, i loved it i mean i thought the seed was great uh and this is my first time playing bingo and it was a lot of fun oh it's uh, crucial yeah and i was I just felt like I was totally out of control on the board. Like I had no idea where to go and what to go for. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Uh, and then it all sort of came together at the end, which was nice. But uh, yeah, first time. Yeah, interestingly, everyone on the restream did wind up doing that bottom row. Uh, like I, I vet these things ahead of time, so I know everything is doable. Uh, so it's just interesting how your routing all worked out to the point that that, that, was, that was the easy one. Yeah, if I had found the Ice Dragon somewhere, I would have just fought. I think I was one battle off from getting that Odin one. Yep. But I'm like, you know what? I bet the Ice Dragon was in uh, Figaro Castle or something where I skipped it. I'm like, I'm not going back down there. <laughs> it was in, I believe, Mount Zozo. So you needed to oh, find well. Cyan. Gotcha. You would have had to route the entire seed differently to, to get the Ice Dragon. Gotcha. Doable, but uh, not, not the way you went, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Did you keep Sabin in your party just because you knew he could use the Atma weapon? Like, you didn't even look at Mog when you found him. Yeah, I saw, because I saw those cheap offerings, and I had two Atma weapons, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be banking on this later. Uh, so I just stuck with it. Uh, and I think it worked out. I mean, I oh, love the sure. stronger Atma weapon. Uh, Atma weapon, good when you, you know, you got those offerings, and uh, you're playing with the, the Atma weapon good flag on. Yeah, for sure. Uh, ooh, Jack's phone did a thing. That Piranha's fight was also interesting. Yeah, the the one reset I had to take in the whole freaking seed was Piranhas of all things. <laughs> yeah, uh, not super common. Yeah, I think it's because I well Saban was in the front row and I didn't have. I mean, I guess headgear is not really that big of a deal, but I think he had force armor, so he wasn't super beefy. But those hits, man, phew. Oh yeah, the 2,000 damage straight out from the, the Rizipus? 
Yeah. Yeah, those That's things at high levels can be nasty. Yeah. So, but luckily the second time, you know, it, it went for more uh, elemental things. Yeah. And you, you got that magic urn up on Mob, which was a solid play. Yeah, I figured, what is this guy going to do? He can't really have any offense, but maybe he can heal. And it turned out he could. I yeah. have uh, White Durgan written down here for some reason. I no longer remember the context, because I'm good at commentary. Yeah, well, that White Dragon was, I think, what slingshotted me at the beginning. Well, I mean, it was sort uh, of right, the middle. you took it early. I yeah. mean, early for an unscaled dragon. Yeah, well, I figured everybody had the elemental shields, and I had two Minervas. I'm like, well... I could really use a dragon to not worry about anything else, uh, you know, being scared of levels or whatever, and so I just decided to go for it. I would have much rather seen ice or fire or something like that, but yeah, I had plenty of, had plenty of phoenix down, so we made it. Yeah, I guess that, that was probably why I wrote it down, is that you, you had to sandbag pretty hard to get through that, but it, it was always going to be doable. It just took a while, because the, the offense of this seed wasn't great. Yeah, but I mean, that... that dragon by itself bumped I, it, I don't know that it doubled my levels but it was pretty close I mean I took a really good jump after that so I was yeah I'm like all right well I'm good now all right and anytime you can fight an unscaled dragon early and with confidence I would say pretty much go for it because it's gonna make the rest of the seed so much faster for you yeah and if I had gotten a single good item from any of these Ted checks holy moly everything was an elemental shield everything oh, yeah how did you feel about doing the entire burning house and having it be a dead check <laughs> well I loved it I just I did it only because you know it's a restream so people everybody wants to see the burning house and I'm like I could use the levels from the fixed encounters but Dead check, and it was spicy chicken, too? Come on. Yeah, it was not a nice time. Luckily, you had the ice shield from the barrel into Massa there, so that took out probably half its health in one go. Yeah, and I'm like, ooh, look at that. I can check that off. And, of course, it's the one that I decided to do my five golden rings, and so I had a relic ring and a sneak ring and some other stupid <laughs> accessories on, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, not, not ideal equipment for sure. Uh, but, you know, you got through it. Uh... The other two racers did both try it. I don't think either of them got through it. So, yeah, good on right. you there. Yeah, well. Yay, burning house down. Uh, the most important check of all. It truly is. It truly is. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really have any other questions for you, so unless you got some final thoughts there. Uh, just big thanks everybody on the restream teams. Thanks to the community. Uh, and uh, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody. All right. Thank you for uh, your play. And uh, GG's again on the win. We'll see you thanks. next time. See, thanks. All right. So we got another Piranha fight going on on Green Monkey screen here. We got uh, Brianna coming up to the Guardian, quote unquote, which is the Boogie Woogie Princes. <laughs> yep, it sure is. Good old Vargas and the Eye Poos. We've got a punching Yeti. Yep. Uh. I think, interestingly, Green Monkey is the only one who didn't elect to keep Umaro in the party the whole time, but he got that square for free, so that was gonna change, you know, I, I'd be surprised, well, I mean, he couldn't have, because he took the Yeti out of the righty. Just, I guess it's just a question of whether he would have elected to go for that square if he hadn't uh, gotten it for free. We'll have to ask him if we can get him in for an interview. Yeah, that's worth asking. And we got a subscription from Jones. Thanks, Jones. It's pronounced Joannis. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Hones. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. That's what you said, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, a couple pretty easy bosses, although we have seen from Jones's play that uh, Rizipus isn't always a pushover. As most people like to think of him. Six seconds left on that uh, Santa counter. Not doing a lot of damage. About 2k a shot from both of these things. Santa might go down before he has a chance to pull off another attack. And indeed he does as Therisipus dies. 
but there comes some dingle dingle dingles and it's a it's a quantum miracle he's back on his feet to distribute gifts to people who celebrate a different holiday <laughs> i think vargas is a jew that's still not quantum <laughs> What? That's Dra Drain spell for the kill. Three looking for a big heal. Vargas had nothing left but 400 hit points. Yeah. Uh, does show you that sometimes, you know, Drain's useful. It's an, it's an overlooked spell. It's. Uh, it absolutely has its place. It has its place. It's situational, but when it turns out you have it and you want it, it's ridiculously useful. Float, interestingly, getting cast on there. Not often you see that, but if you got it, why not? Just a little bit of extra insurance. And a gold hairpin at the end. Hooray. Nobody cares. No, definitely not. Goddess. And Monkey is on to final Kafka fight, so he pulled ahead here. I neglected to write down the time that Bree entered, but I can write down the time that... Uh, Green Monkey started his fight. Yeah, so Green Monkey has an easier time than Jones did. I mean, J Jones' credit got through it on one attempt, but it was pretty dicey. Yeah, get it, getting through Final Kafka when Kafka is in counter range, range and you're only doing 6k, and it's Umaro, so you can't decide when to do it, and everybody else is dead. Yes. <laughs> And like that that hyperdrive that Sabin took to kill him, that could've that could have been an Ultima. Yeah, it could have been. Uh I think I think it was a Havoc Wing that took Sabin out. What did I say? Hyperdrive. The other one that would probably just as easily have done uh, quad nines. So looks like we're gonna see a bunch more of your favorite spell. And uh some reasonable damage, Dragonhorn Jumpies. Yeah, Savin was getting some really nice damage there. I think, I think uh, we're seeing some Atma Weapon jumping from Green Monkey. It's solid play. Uh, Atma Weapon plus jumping means you're going to get hit a lot less, so your health stays up, and you get that multiplier. Okay. Uh, it's only 1.5, and you don't always get four hits, but uh, it's still pretty cool. As opposed to having the damage. Yeah. Water skiing right in the face. Rihanna not having the easiest time. Bree's got another death box sitting on old man Strago. And these fire threes are just tickling the goddess for a hair under 2k a shot. Pickles the drummer. Doodly doo, ding dong, doodly doodly doo. Hit next blush. And that's all we know. <laughs> <laughs> and Santa goes down to being a float zombie. The worst kind of zombie. Yep. They float like a butterfly and sting like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, and you unfortunately can't revive my no. enemy. This is Goddess's special secret sauce. Yeah. And luckily, Santa is pretty... Well, now she's dead. Yeah. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Brianna, a little annoyed in chat, as one might expect. Still gonna go for it again. Green Monkey on tier two here. Still doing the jumpy flares. I don't like the flare part of the jumpy flares. Well, get in the computer, travel down the pipes and the series of tubes, yeah. and go tell them. And that's... pick up some of those super dinosaur movies. That's a, that's a that's a lot that's a lot of effort. Can't we just get a graphic up there that has like a crying baby Jesus or something? Uh, those don't exist until Christmas. Oh, darn. And yeah, jumpies. I think Edgar's still just using shock, which is not the greatest at this it's point. Better than flare. 
You're... Well, I was gonna say something there that I would have regretted. You're not better than Flair. I don't think we're friends anymore. That is like we the, were friends. That is like the worst thing any human being has ever said to me ever. I've said worse things to you tonight. I disagree. Yeah, this, I mean, here comes another goddess fight. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Bree didn't take the time to just uh, reorder the characters. Could have given yourself a guaranteed pincer attack. I mean, that's something that would not have occurred to me. She's uh, apparently going for Quake, which is not a strategy you see very often, but when you have Float or something, yeah, you, you can do it. it. It's situational. This is a situation where it'll work out okay. If only it was slower and had a funnier sound effect. And did, like, a third of the damage. I don't know. 5,000 is a big number. It's a bigger number than 3,000. That only looks big. Oh, so you're saying that, that the flare is just in the foreground? Yes. Yeah. All right, so Quake is just too far away for me to tell how, how big the numbers actually are. Exactly. I mean, you I get mean... a bunch of other Quakes and put on a transcourse. <laughs> like, like I like the idea of that strategy. You get like a Graham's number quake. I don't like Graham. I like his number. Yeah, I don't like his crackers are okay too, I guess. And plus, you know, the whole metric system. Graham's is good. Yeah, yeah. Take that, people measuring in hogsheads. On to tier three for the greenest monkey. I measure all my measurables in tiny lengths of string. How long are the pieces of string? They're in one piece of string each. That, that is the correct answer, yes. <laughs> Brianna has killed the goddess! Yay! An inappropriate thing to do during the holy days. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. Unless you don't gotta do it. Uh, some more flair, but at a, a quite appropriate moment. One of the only justified uses of the spell. But still, it gets cancelled out from all the terrible uses of it prior. And that's going to be a dead girl. Just got to get rid of sleep, who's already basically 10k down, 30k left. I don't think we've seen any kind of calmness mitigation on anybody's screen. So well, I guess it's just Phantom exists. Hurt and hope. Uh, Phantom. Phantom doesn't play nice with jumping though. It'll protect the jumpers. That's about it. I mean, Phantom can work, but even if you know how it works and you you're pretty sure of your timing, and you know what health he's sitting at, and you've got other things queued up, you can still get just completely screwed by trying to use Phantom to get through it. Yep. I think I've successfully done it about three times. I've been playing this randomizer for two years, nearly. However long it's been out, basically. Pretty much. Yep. Hiding in the hiding, that's coming to kill you. really don't like when you use the revive fighting. Except you can't, because that fly is not turned on today. <laughs> Ooh, quick! First that time I've noticed that, whether or not it's been used before, is... No, I would have heard the sound. It has a very distinct sound. <laughs> yep. Almost as distinct as flare. On to tier four for Green Monkey! Yeah. There's, there's potential for some real pro strats here. His his most useless character has has uh, Runic available. Let's suck up some counters with that. And uh, two of his characters are straight up attackers. Uh, and the other one has, you know... The other one's using Shock. Shock, so yeah. Just throw up the Runic. 
ignore the fact that Strago can cast spells. Yeah. Well, and, he'd be more useful as a runic bot. Yeah. Runic is one of those abilities that's definitely overlooked by a lot of people. Uh, just It doesn't have, like, global use. Uh, especially since they started scaling the elemental ability, so there are fewer spells around. But when you get to Final Kafka, you can runic. You sure can. You can runic. You can runic Ultima. You can runic one of Hyperdrive or... Uh, you can runic Hyperdrive. You can runic Hyperdrive. Yep. So that's two of his big counters just dealt with. But out comes Flare. Havoc Wing. Ping. Ping goes Havoc Wing. Ping sure does go Havoc Wing. So do the Knights of Knee. And I'm dead. dead wide. And... I think it is shield breaking a clock for Green Monkey. I do declare. I think I'm getting the papers. Apropos of nothing, someone just said something that made me think of an accent, and then I did the accent. I don't think we'll see a goner for Green Monkey here. This broken shield should do it. That should be a dead Kafka. Is it a Krakow? That a is the Krakow. GG's to Brianna. Or rather, sorry, Green Monkey. I was reading a different thing on the other screen, and it influenced my brain speaky tubes. Yeah, why would anyone ever say GG's to Brianna, of all people? Well, sometimes she's had a good game. Oh, yeah. Just gotta remember with your brains. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, hey. Uh, we will be joined momentarily by Green Monkey for an interview. Re the seed. And other things. Probably mostly the seed. I'm not going to ask him what his favorite spoon is. But you should ask him what his favorite fork is. The spoon. <laughs> I hope so. Well, there will be a brief delay before Green Monkey joins us, presumably for the same reason that I immediately have to leave voice chat after every restream, which is it's, it's just time to pee. Yeah. It's scheduled. <laughs> I write it in my calendar at the start of the day to make sure I have time, and that's that's the block I have laid out. Very nice. Which is also the thing I do in the bathroom. Lay out the blocks? Yeah. But what about blocking out the lays? No, that's the thing you do if you're a Wiccan in, like, the UK. You gotta follow all them ley lines. Yeah, I don't know. Ley lines are confusing. They're, they're, they're lines. Yeah, but they could be circles. Then you'd never get lost. You don't know what you're talking about. I usually don't. And Rizapis gonna take some hits from an animal weapon and then do bolt three, which did a remarkably small amount of damage. Yeah, force gear cuts down on magic quite a bit. Yep. Uh, and there was a lot of it. So it'll be Bree entering the final battle momentarily. Mm-hmm. So, Brianna, about to come to the final battle. I think she might have the least good offense of the runners we've seen today. I mean, no one's had great offense, but uh, we'll see. It's been pretty much acceptable offense across the table, so... Except your offense. Now is a good time, though. I've been your... trying very hard not to be offensive. 
The only, the only catchers I can come up with that for are all hugely offensive. <laughs> I know, right? Go follow our runners! Or follow our runners, www.twitch.tv slash follow our runners. <laughs> I did a good job on that. Yeah. Uh, I don't care for the streamer, aka Green Monkey, WR Jones 104, Rihanna Fafana. All did them good races. All put on them good shows. All made a line in bingo. Did they it? all made the same line in this bingo. This is their greatest accomplishment. The bingo of all bingos. The dog? No. Yeah, and bingo was his name up. No, that's Clifford. No, Clifford was just like six cats in a big trench coat. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Brianna entering Clown Kafka at 211 ish. And uh, got some fire twos. Got some missing Doom, which is never a great feeling. 5k on that Umaro swing. I'm kind of going to have to go with the idea that uh, Brianna found neither Dragon Horns or Offerings. Oh, she's got a dragon horn. But nobody's jumping. Maybe she elected not to jump. Which is weird because she gave Edgar a pearl lance. And is instead electing to use shock. I don't know what to tell you. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just have to ask. Yep. Why, well, yeah, okay, there is some jumping going on, I guess. Yule has got them jumpies, but uh, not, I mean, probably sitting on the Atma weapon like everyone else. It's a bit hard to tell what the Atma weapon is when you jump, because it's not a giant there, there's, Yeah, there, there's no graphic for it, that the character just lands. I don't even think they have, like, a little teeny sword under them. Uh, it, it does change size. But that's about the best you can do. And we are now joined by Green Monkey uh, GG's on the game. Thank you. How Thank did you. you feel that went overall? Uh, it was one of the worst starts I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> between uh, <laughs> the firehouse. Burning yeah. House. Burning House was nasty. Uh, yeah. But uh, to make you feel better about that, it was a dead check. Oh, good. I guess that is good. Yeah. Jones is the only one that actually finished it on stream. Brianna and yourself both had to reset out of there, so. Yeah, it was rough because I had the ice shield on Umaro. Yeah. I realized in combat that I can't take the ice shield off him. Yeah, I think Brianna was in the same boat of putting the ice shield on Umaro, and therefore it was not, you know, usable yeah. to break on anything. I thought um, I was so smart. I thought I was going to, like, Get the ice shield break and uh, you know. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you gonna do? And and then you 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 wound up in Nash trying to get past <laughs> the the most chancellery dragon I've ever seen. <laughs> he was deliberately blocking the path. I... Yeah, didn't even uh, want you to save. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> uh, but yeah. then I actually took a break. Like I got up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we figured you, you were probably just taking a minute to clear your head at that point. <laughs> yeah, I that's exactly what I did. And then I think it went okay after that. I basically just moved through the thing and found that that bottom row was like a pretty decent one. Uh, for stuff that you didn't really have to find. You know what I mean? Everything. Yeah. Uh, like, available sort of you have I mean, to work for it maybe a little bit but you did get that umaro square for free would you have yeah. ever elected to take it uh yeah. deliberately uh i don't know if i would have if i didn't i mean maybe i would have stayed with umaro i, I kept them i guess it would have just probably replaced edgar or something um yeah yeah, I mean, that's a hard one to tell, but all three restream people did wind up with that bottom row. You all 
kind of routed in about the same way. So, yeah. so some of the squares wound up not being really obvious as a thing you could do. Yeah. And... Yeah, like, I, I don't know where, like, Ice Dragon was or something like that, so... Yeah, Ice Dragon would have basically required finding Shadow at Kefka and Nersh pretty early, because th there's a... Okay. There's a route from there to get to it in uh, Mount Zozo, but... You, I mean, most people yeah. don't do Kefka and Nersh that quickly, but Mog yeah, was yeah, gettable yeah. really early, and that's a reason to go there, so I thought it would be fine. Sure. Some people might do it. Yeah, um, that's kind of... It was interesting, like... Some were probably pretty deep in the seed, and others were probably like less deep. And, and, and when you're looking at the bingo card, you don't know which ones are going to be deep and which ones aren't going to be deep. So it's yeah, I, I try to organize it so that yeah. most things are pretty fair, but you know, it, it's impossible unless I want to read like 50 spoiler logs to get everything even. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, have you done bingo fun. before? I have not. It was very overwhelming at first. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can imagine, yeah. Uh, what, what did you think of the, the format, then? It was super fun, one, especially once I, like, settled into it. And it it's kind of just, like, more checks in your head that you have to, or more, like, the puzzle routing puzzles that you have to solve, kind of. Yeah, uh, for sure. Which is pretty fun. Uh, so it was cool. It was a cool, different thing, for sure. And I appreciate you putting it together. It's, yeah, it's I mean... Forward. We don't do them super often, uh, and it's yeah. mostly because it does literally take me two or three hours to do it. Because <laughs> I have cool, to read though. a million super... spoiler logs. <laughs> it was super fun, though. Well, I'm um, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. -boo -boo. I don't really have any other questions written down for you, Jack. Do you have anything in particular? Jack is shaking his head like a good commentator and not using his voice. Um... <laughs> But yeah, did you have any other thoughts about it? No, not really. Uh, it was all kind of a blur, but uh, <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself then, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you the next time. All right, sounds good. See you guys. Have a good one, and GG's again. Yeah, you too. thanks. Okay, Bree, on to Tier 3 with two corpses. Which, I'm not sure if you know, is not the ideal number. Unless you're trying to make a super corpse by putting them in a big space <laughs> Uh, you need more than two for that, though. So yeah, but it's, that's, it's, 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 it's still not ideal. Yeah, it's, still, fair, not ideal. it's still not ideal. That was the point. Bree not having the nicest time. Uh for the last little while, but, uh... Well, Bree's gonna improvise up an attacker, Mog's getting a man-eater, and out comes Magic Urn, everyone's favorite stall tactic. Uh, Magic Urn is very nice. It doesn't just cast, uh, uh, Cure 3. Interestingly, Kieran coming out as well, not a play you see almost ever. I... I find it hard to justify re regaining most JRPGs, it simply doesn't restore enough to be worth using. Not generally, but it, Final Kafka is about the only place I would opt to put it on, and I'd probably do it at the start. Uh, and even then, only if I didn't really have any Heelys. But, uh, yeah. Things not going super well. Brianna, as mentioned, doesn't really have the offense the other two did. I, I like the use of steel to try to fish out that Ragnarok to get some more damage going. That's that's a sneaky little pro move there. If it Difficult to do because steel is based on level and the enemies are a higher level than you by it's like 30. A lot, <laughs> yeah. So very uncommon to get that steel. Yeah, it tries the Rune Edge. No, <laughs> the Rune Edge is not a weapon worth using even if it has MP grits. Yep. The thing I was going to say about Magic Iron is that it doesn't just cast Cure 3, it also gives you a bunch of uh, elemental immunities and such. Yes. So it is a good way in a magic-based fight to keep people alive. There's the oh, Ragnarok. There's the Ragnarok. That's uh, quite the snipe. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That that would be if she got a snipe. Now, the question is, can anyone of import use it? Uh, Strago can't use that Ragnarok, so it will have to be some other character. Mog's busy. Maybe Shadow Here can comes use it. Calmness. Oh, 
The other calmness? Yeah, the other calmness. Because, of course, why would you not give two different enemies the same attack name <laughs> with two completely different effects? Uh, let's see, can Shadow use it? No, Shadow can't use it. She stole the Ragnarok and no one can use it. Maybe okay. Umaro, but you can't access his equipment. Maybe Wog won't know until final cast. Fun times! Yep, and uh, there's a White Wind to uh, wipe out all the damage. Yeah, White Wind has a 1 in 3 chance of being cast every turn. And, uh... Bree really scraping at the bottom of the barrel here. Mog doesn't even have a weapon. Uh, no, Mog's got a weapon. Mog's got a man-eater on. No, he just punched. Yeah, but that's good. Oh, right, using a right, rage. he's using a rage. Yeah. We have not seen a lot of Mog play, so I had forgotten the rage thing. Yeah, well, Despite there, talking a couple, about of, a couple of nice hits in a row is going to take the girl out, so down to just the sleepy dude right there. Not getting a lot of play out of this magic urn. Here comes the windy wind. The worst kind of wind. It only hit one character, though, so it could have been way worse. And as you said earlier, uh, Cure 3, usually overkill for healing. Here comes a single Cure 2, and that's basically enough to bring Strago all the way up to full. Yeah, and here comes a Cure 3. Just in case. From oh, a I mean. lower level character, and it's still doing more than Cure 2 would from Strago. Yeah. Like, that that's a reasonable end game. Here. There is yet another ticking death clock over old man Santa's head. And now Bree's gone and stole the Atma weapon, too, for good measure. Yay! More weapons. Yeah, uh, Doom isn't going to work through Magic Urn. <laughs> good <No>. try, Bree. <laughs> she just wants to see if uh, yeah, Mog can equip the weapon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Shadow can't use that uh, Atma weapon either, looks like. Didn't see it lit up in the menu. I'm amazed she got both of those steals off. Yeah. Even getting one is unlikely. Interestingly, the tackle there from Amaro did less than the straight-up Atma weapon swing. Oh, at this point, yeah, definitely, when your level's uh, into the mid There's an Atma weapon for hey, Strago. Strago can use the Atma weapon. He needs to get his ass up. Ooh, to that's throw. not a lot of damage, and there comes the Meteo, which is, if it hits the Yeti, which it didn't, luckily, Yeah. Uh, that would have uh, severely reduced her damage output. Wouldn't oh right, Mog's uncontrollable. This is not a nice time for Brianna. Nope. This oh, is another uh, medio. Oh jeez. Basically have to hope that doesn't hit Umaro and the oh it did. Uh yeah. Umaro is going to do a pathetic amount of damage. There comes calmness. Ping. Ninja block. Ooh, Santa dead still has Umaro. And another character that's probably gonna wind up being uncontrolled if she's not thinking ahead. Uh no, she's not getting any more characters. That's it. Yeah, but I meant Mog is a dancer. I mean, a, a rager. Well, Mog's out of rage, so maybe he can use the Ragnarok? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I should probably also point out that I have forgotten to thank the Schwantz uh, for basically the entire race. Didn't even mention them at the start. Uh, they've been doing the tracking and stuff, so, you know, go give them a follow. Uh, tracking is, as I will always say, not a job I could do. So I'm mm -hmm. always impressed when people can keep up with shit. I mean, yeah, there's there's a little bit of a pressure mistake from Bree bringing out a cure two, but Kafka's just gonna use fall in one. That was a waste of turn. Well, it got Shadow to some health. I suppose. Well, let's but... see if Mog can use the Ragnarok. And it, there's elixirs remaining. Gonna get. Uh, Umaro back up to a uh, point of health where he can do damage. Yeah. Umaro's carrying Ooh, the offense just... here. Okay, so we're looking at 7k a turn unless Mog can do something useful. Yep. Which is not great, especially since it's going to be real. There's Fire 3, not something you see Kefka do that often. Just pull out regular spells. Mostly you have enough offense to just rush him through to the more dangerous part of his AI routine. Yes. But yeah, he does tend to waste the first half of the fight just casting relatively harmless level 3s at you. Yeah. 
Thank you, Green Monkey, fourth raid. Oh, Havoc Wing, right in the face of Umaro. Oh, he's a big, strong boy. He can take it. Yeah, but look at how close the sun is. He's made of snow. He's gonna be all melty. Didn't she rename the snowman? Yeah. That's not snowman, that's Well, bumble. look at how close the sun is. He's a bee. <laughs> Bees don't like the sun. No, they... That's why don't. they're always hanging out in their hives. Yeah. Another hyperdrive! Yeah, or rather, well, Kepka, hey, Kepka is definitely in Counterland. What? Here's Beyond Chaos Times? Yeah. And, uh, Bree throwing a phoenix down, uh, that's... Mog's just gonna die again before she gets a turn. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to be throwing out heals before Goner. Well, heals, yes. Revives, no. no. I mean, heals... Yeah. That and don't get you beyond the survival requirements. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see here. Oh, uh, not a lot of damage from that goner, but I'm all... Gear. Yeah, Force gear yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I'm also usually surprised by how ineffective goner is. No counter? That's good? Well, goner is the single most powerful attack in the game, but unlike a lot of the other most powerful attacks, it, it doesn't, doesn't ignore, ignore defense. defense. Yes. And it's split damage. Yeah, that too. Okay, this is this is doable. It's yeah. just not nice. Oh, I wouldn't have multi-targeted. I, I wouldn't have even been using gear two. She's still got a couple elixirs kicking around. This is this is not the time to be using the cheap heals. <laughs> Swing the miss from there. Around. Yeah. Uh, there's one X potion sitting around and one elixir, so feed the Eddie, hope for the best, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, if you got Ooh, any shields, train is time not to gonna it. be ideal. Hopefully, there's some sunglasses remedy. remover. Remedy will do it. Gotta take off them sunglasses. I know they're really close to the sun, but you know they, they, they just need more eye cancer in their lives that's a dead yeti that sure is and here comes another beyond chaos so yeah. well well the good news here is that uh Bree will have time to get off a uh, big heal on umaro so he'll be able to survive a goner but uh her resources are starting to run out here yeah get that elixir going and then uh, i'm not sure what the numbers are i haven't been counting them because that's hard to do when you're talking constantly kefka's probably got a solid 10k or so left here. yeah so, so he's in he's in of course the most dangerous part of his counter attack phase. yeah so Bree basically has to hope for a lack of counters to get through this uh putting up a good fight so far but at this point pretty reliant on umaro not screwing her over <laughs> with his teeny tiny weapon oh well down to solo umaro for solo another umaro. racer yep there's one tackle, tackle. Oh, oh, no. oh did not get the no counter lock that job oh no, not a good time that is a very very dead yeti and brianna has officially forfeited we'll see if she wants to give an interview i won't be surprised if she doesn't yeah and then we'll uh do some admin outro stuff and find someone to raid. Ah, uh, but this would be a good time again to go follow our runners. Uh, Green Monkey, aka I don't care for this streamer, WR Jones 104, and Brianna Fofana all put on a good show. You know, nice times, holiday bingos. And, uh, you know, there's a me, there's a Jack, and there's a Schwantz. We also were here. You could you could go follow us if you really feel like punishing yourself with hearing me talk more. I don't know. I'm a sucker for punishment myself. I just about slapped you in the face. <laughs> Lovely. Just about. Well, you deserve to be punished. That I. That's not. That's cruel and unusual. Yeah, this, this, yeah. I don't want cruel or unusual.
Okay, Brianna officially not super feeling up to an interview times. So while we do so, like, uh, when we go to interview her in text, I don't have any giant questions, though, that would be particularly good to do in that format. So we'll just do a bit of outro admin. Jack, why don't you do that while I find us someone to raid? Hey everyone, this was the weekly race. It was a bingo race. It was good times. It was very good times. Follow our racers, follow our restream team. Links are all there. This is the World's Collide channel. Make sure you subscribe and stuff. We do races every week on Thursdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Well, there's always races on Saturdays. They're just not necessarily restreamed. So if you want to jump in the Discord, which is a command I can put up, uh, get in there and play the races. And then uh, also send money. There's a button for that. All the money goes directly to like a charity and stuff every so often. Yep, we don't keep any of the uh, subscription, etc. monies for... For ourselves, we just do that. Uh, we give it up to them. We give it to a charity. Usually if someone's running some kind of charity stream, we'll, when we get a payout, we'll give it to them. Uh, yeah, we'll just see who all is running a thing. Uh, do, 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 do. The only person I see doing Worlds Collide is Lunar Chimera, so I guess we're raiding them. And away we go. And if anybody feels like being an idiot on stream, like me, you can sign up for restream rolls too. Especially, uh, I mean, it's, it's not difficult. I, I, you heard how well I did it. You, you could do that too. If you want. Or you could be a tracker. Or you could be a restreamer. Or you could just, just watch it. I don't care. Do what you want. It's your life. We're going to go see Lunar Chimera now. Come back next week and possibly Saturday. And yeah. marry all the holidays.